Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Ooh, let me get the music on. I kind of forgot to do that. Hopefully it's going to... There we go. Start playing in a second. Got there in the end. Right, let me sort out my volumes because I had a bit of a... <laughs> it took me a few attempts to get everything up and running today. Uh, Because like it, my headphones turned off and then for a minute the entirety of Windows crashed. I still... And I'm probably talking a year after I first said that I was going to do this, but I still haven't wiped my PC. Um, or this PC, I still need to completely start it afresh, it's just a pain. <laughs> How are we doing? First of all, Quincy, thank you so much for becoming a blue brew. Welcome to the berry basket, enjoy your crib emotes and your uh, early access to videos and a very special poll currently on the community tab. Viliari, hello. Nina, hello. Alex, hello. Pelusia, Michaela. Amber by Dreams Art. Punk is busy. May, yes, early for once, I know. Uh, I didn't realise I was as many minutes early as I was, and I know it's only like three minutes, but like... I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's as, almost as bad going live early than it is... I don't know. I, than it is late. Like, I feel like when it comes to streams, the only right answer is like within like a minute either side. Is that weird? I think that's weird. It's probably weird. Casey, hello, so fresh, hello, Chanto love, love the glasses, so cute, thank you so much. I have another pair of clear frame ones, but they, um, my eyes can't get along with the clear frames very well, it's really, really strange. <laughs> Dancing Rain, hello, Wolf Shadow Whisper, hello, hello, Cara Brooks, Fantasy, Anime Life, Zy Lady, Julia, Nina, excuse the, I've, I'm drinking a monster, so <laughs> sometimes it kind of traps some air. Pelina, hello! How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Um, first stream, well, welcome welcome to anyone who's uh, here for the first time in the stream. Massive welcome. I'm really sorry that um, there was a very short notice in changing the stream on Wednesday. Obviously, this stream would usually be on Wednesdays uh, at this time of day, but um, Michael's been very not well. He's, a, he's um, a fair amount better today than he has been, but just the past few days been completely just like unable to do anything bless him so um now that we have a puppy to look after i had to sort of like do a bit more with that he couldn't you know fully put 100 percent attention into doing that especially for that for a good three hours <laughs> most people get messed up in the middle <laughs> i think it's like my brain sometimes it takes time but like when the first word for me is easy to recognize it makes the rest easier and hello welcome in finished catching up on the last two this morning that's perfect timing yeah it's, it's been it's been rough but um but we went out and got some fresh air today with a nice walk with a little chewy so that was fun <laughs> and um yeah i've just been i've been trucking away on the script for the next uh next hundred days of messed up stardew i'm like where am I now? I think I'm on the third, middle of third season. So, so getting there. Very much getting there. <laughs> I know. Um, it's, it, the funny thing is, like, I'm, I'm most of the time, like, I'm usually here at my desk on time. I just like have forgotten to do something or whatever, and it's like the getting up and the back and forth that makes me end up being kind of late. Your exam is next week. Can't focus now. Bad news. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Is that some horrible timing as well? I imagine that it's hard to study. I wonder. I hope that you can get some like support with your school with that because surely they must be able to help with something there. Your trash is 2.0, so if you're getting close to throw it in the predictor for when you get some blousy. I think you should. At this point, I think it's been long enough. Like you've been trying to do this from like real life month real life month like i think i think it's only fair that you, you get to check now um wouldn't it be funny if you missed one though i would die I, d I doubt you would have but i would die if you lost one you missed it last week because your electricity was out of your part of the city that's rough mid summer year three yeah i think <laughs> i think it's okay to check i mean like look what happened with me with the truffles like they weren't ever going to show up until year five so You're playing along as well with Eastcarp and Expanded. Oh my god, enjoy, Frog. 
After watching the stream, she downloaded this one and you've been playing it all week. On the end of four right now? Oh my god, I hope you're loving it. Well, I'm still on the um, sort of middle of spring and we'll, we'll make a start in, in just a second. We'll, um, we'll get going because um, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> So, um, let me switch over. Hopefully it's going to show up. If not, I'll have to fix it because um, I think I need to add it to the... Uh, what was I doing? Making it work. Window. This one. Show up. There we go. Um, it's the Raffidax mod, so it adds a whole bunch of new crops and... Uh, forage and other items so <laughs> uh yeah th th there's there's a lot to do oh and it's salmon berry season so we're definitely gonna be dealing with that it's also pam's birthday so let's grab a parsnip and head on over to her we've got our first couple of bits in the crab pot however i don't have any stuff to like put in it as in like any bait i don't think i've even got any bug meat ready to go oh and i probably should water my crops right um which one of these is crab pot stuff? This one. I feel so slow. Like, even now that I've finished... Oh, animation hands thing. Even now that I've finished doing um, Messed Up Stardew, obviously, over time... Where's... Hello? Oh my god, have I lost the file? Uh, bear with me a second. I need to... I can't... I can't not... No, it is there. It's just not searching. But this PC. <laughs> there we go. I can... I can... Live again. How long have I been live? Uh, literally seven minutes. <laughs> We've basically just started. How you doing, Lady Queenie? Say Sage, hello! How you doing? And happy Friday to everyone. I really like this recolor. Um... It's something different to what I usually do. Yeah, he's not 100%, but better than it has been um, compared to the past like few days. It's been, it's been rough. Been rough. Jarella, hello! Fry, happy Friday indeed. Okay. I'm still trying to get my head around what exactly I am doing slash want to do and i think like today obviously salmon berries is going to be the first priority because we had to donate a lot of them so you know that i can't really do much else than than gather berries on this day and i mean that's a good apologies for the stutter there um it's, <laughs> it's a good thing because i'm gonna need them for food anyway oh i spy fun forage including litter litter is also fun forage in this um, we do have two rows of backpacks, so that's good. Rename James, hello! You don't often make it to the streams, but you enjoy the VOD as well. Uh, hope you're able to stick around today. If not, I hope you also enjoy the VOD today too. <laughs> but thank you for coming to say hi. Riley, hello! The recolor is amazing, isn't it? I think it's, uh, it's Star Blue Valley, isn't it? I've forgotten already. <laughs> Genuinely forgotten. You wish you could get the macro script to work. I um I followed Easy Lily's tutorial, if that helps. And just like I just didn't rebind it to anything, so I left it as like the X key. And I just used that. I think a lot of people use spacebar. Um I don't like using spacebar. I like using this well, my hands are small anyway, so it kinda like works better for me. <laughs> Enjoyed the parsnip. It is a very fine looking parsnip, isn't it? One too many caramel porters at the saloon last night go away. Well, I mean, I was hoping the parsnip might be good hangover food. I mean, I wouldn't think it's good hangover food. I hate parsnips. But like, I don't know, maybe Pam might think so. How's my inventory doing? Okay, cool. Gunnella, hello, welcome in. It's Star Blue Valley. It should be linked in the description. <gasps> Something new. What are you? Sea fan coral. That's cute. Um, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. What do you do? Primarily used as decorative objects. 
Oh, you can put it in the bone mill. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Good to know. You three month old loves watching the videos. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah, the only the only mod I haven't put in the description yet is the fast loads one. Um now I haven't really noticed a difference with them without it. So I don't know. It could just be my PC taking a dump, which it probably is. It would use your left click instead. Oh, I think... Did I have to change something else? I can't remember. I might have had to change something else as well. Um, I have no idea. So, parsnip sautéed in butter. Can you imagine if she just starts digging into it like a raw carrot? That would have been really funny. But no, I've never been a parsnip person. I mean, maybe that'll change one day. There's a lot of food that I thought I'd never like in my entire life. And they're like, they've even grown on, either grown on me or like, I'm starting to be able to accept them like in food. Because like, you know how there's like some foods that you're, you don't really like on their own, but they're fine if they're like in something with other things where they're not like the main focus like mushrooms is that for me i'm trying to learn to like mushrooms because um even when you like go somewhere and order food there's so many things with mushrooms in them that i kind of get shut out <laughs> of being able to order stuff that looks otherwise good besides the mushrooms you notice the difference from going from the title screen to the load save menu there's also a minor difference when loading into new days <gasps> hawthorn berries they're new too I used to use Bright Master. I used that on Mega Expanded. All I did is I turned off the like smoothing. So, th you know, returned it to essentially like pixel art because it kind of undoes the pixel art situation. Um, I undid that and it just like made a huge amount of difference. But from what I've heard, it's meant to be the same thing just without the art change. You love the vibe of them? Oh my God, thank you so much. I love doing them. I very much love doing them. Streaming is generally one of my favourite things. I mean, like, you know, when I was starting to do sort of content related things, I, you know, streaming was my first kind of thing before I figured out what I wanted to do video wise. Um, and I never really wanted that to go away. Have, have I seen a parsnip in real life? You've never seen one in the wild? I mean, I've never seen one like growing, but like, <laughs> I've. Bought, yeah, you did see deer antlers. I didn't even address that. Hang on, deer antlers. The antler of a deer, they're naturally shed in the winter. Oh, yeah, have you? Okay, <laughs> I was scrolling through Twitter the other day, and deer and some other animals with antlers shed them like naturally on their own, and it's like really strange. It's really strange. I think I've talked about this actually now that I'm saying it out loud. I think I have actually talked about this on stream. So it's kind of wild that it's come up in this mod. I didn't know I didn't know that until I saw it on like Twitter one day months ago. But I had no reason to know that, I guess. Like I'll be honest, there's something something massive is um I love the idea of seeing deer in real life and I never had before and I used to live near somewhere that there was a giant park that you could go through. Um and Somewhere in that park, I mean this park is like miles and miles and miles, it's not like a small park. Somewhere in there was an area called Deer Park. Which they are meant to have deer because I like checked and I kid you not, I cycled there every day for like almost an entire like school year. Did not see a deer at all, ever. Not one, not even once. So I was very disappointed. You just see a deer on the campus, that's wild. You know since you were small, but then again, you grow up in the woods <clears throat> with family and friends who are either hunters or own forests. Yeah. Yeah, I had no reason I had no reason to like know that. Um, but what's also cool is that like now with Chewy, like we've lived in this city that we live now for like um, a couple of years, coming up to a couple of years, and we haven't really explored it that much because of <clears throat> essentially finding our feet with like 
just being here in general and work um, and all of this. And um, just haven't really had a chance to like explore and now we've got like so much more reason to and I love it. You're in Surrey, mostly foxes. <laughs> I think I saw, I've seen a wild fox like once and it was on my sixth form college campus. It was really funny. So Anne, hello, how you doing? Happy Friday. Maybe you see them before dawn. Oh, I mean, I went early, but not like before dawn early. <laughs> There's nothing I really want to get rid of. Maybe the regular trash. Um, I used to go at like eight o'clock in the morning which like for me now it's like early ah uh, there's too much stuff okay this is gonna be here for a, a few days still so i can always come back to it they're bigger than you expect i mean yeah that they are they're, they're, they are pretty big leaving the fiber on the ground not too fast it is fine now I'm probably missing like a good few bushes by just kind of skipping along. Oh, there's a morel as well. Oh, I want that though. Um. Well, I've been getting a fair amount of plastic bags already. There we go. I need. I do need bigger pockets. I I do want to save up for a bigger backpack like as soon as possible. But I need I need money from my crops first. Right, um, let's put everything away and all the new stuff as well. Oh yeah, let me F1 these. Oh, you can put these in a bone mill as well. I kind of feel weird about that. <laughs> big new backpack, honestly. And didn't we only last week get one? That's beach forage. So is the muscle. Okay. I'm not yet shipping things even if they do need shipping unless I've got like multiple of them because I don't want to... Um, use something that I end up needing later. So I'm just kind of making sure I'm being careful of that. We can ship the clam though. And let me check in this chest. Do I have anything that needs donating like ASAP? Not really. Uh, all I have left now is the backwards I think to go and check for salmon berries. You see hedgehogs or rabbits? Oh my god, I love that. I don't think I've seen like a, a wild anything around here. Other than squirrel, I've seen squirrels. I see a lot of squirrels. But like, I mean, they're really common. Rainy Brewster, hello, how you doing? Hearing deer while driving is guaranteed cardiac episode. Oh no. I am, um, I'm always really like, I mean, I suppose it's also, I'm a really cautious driver. Um, so a lot of the time I will be going slow enough to like notice that kind of thing. Like I'm not very confident when it comes to dark, kind of narrow roads. So people often end up like, I mean, I'm not going, you know, absurdly slow, but I'm going slower than a lot of people would like. But I'd rather be safe. <laughs> also, our car is very old. How big do people expect deer to be? I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know how I would compare, like, say that. <laughs> I think it also depends on, um... oh no, I have seen, wait, I have seen deer in real life. I, I saw them in Richmond. Because there's another specific deer place in Richmond. So, so I have done that. But other than that, let's fish here. And they were quite tame as well. But some of them were quite small, but they could have been young. I don't think I saw a male though. Bigger than a big dog, but smaller than a horse. A good in between that, yeah, that's a good way to describe it i think like, whenever someone asks me a question like how big is this or that my brain's like wait how do they want me to answer or like 
the other thing of like, oh, you know, and you know if you had to like describe someone did something and you had to describe them. <gasps> Jeffrey, thank you so much for becoming a cranberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your Frobus emotes, your early access to videos, and um, make sure you're in the Discord as well because you get a special channel with uh, a lot of uh, exclusive updates first. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, you, you know when like, you get asked to describe a person and they're like, oh, can you tell me their height and um, that, you know, their height, their weight, their age, and I'm like, I could tell you none of those things. I could probably tell you what they're wearing and their hair and their eye colour, but I couldn't, I, I, I can't, I'm not very good at judging the rest of the things. Because like, even with height, because I'm short, specifically with height, everyone's taller than me, so I find it hard to gauge, <laughs> like, how much taller than me anyone is <laughs> you probably do the worst with yeah honestly same same and like the, the other thing is because i've like worked in retail and stuff um where they train you on age restriction there's a lot of people that just don't look their age so how are you supposed to judge age <laughs> I mean, hey, when I was 22, someone I used to work with thought I was in my 30s. Bastion's Frozen Tear dialogue? I need to get one. I don't think we got that far in the mind yet because, um, all the other things. Plus there's so much loot in the mines. This fish because I'm so distracted. Okay. Kind of nice being able to. I usually hate fishing up bait, but I kind of need it. I'm trying to read at the same time. If I really should stop trying to do that. Oh, I leveled up in fishing. Unless you're essentially right next to them, you th see things as the same size most of the time. <laughs> it's just, it's so hard to judge. You turn 26 more and everything. Oh, good grief. Oh, in retail, no one knows their age and all this. Yeah. It's so difficult. So difficult. You'd rather go in the car with someone who likes uh, drives like they're making a scenic route than someone at night than someone who drives as if it was normal daylight. I don't know how people do it. Like I don't know if it's just like my eyesight isn't terrible, obviously, but I just I don't get it when I see people like fly past and I'm like, how are you confidently driving at sixty on this road right now? Riley, thank you so much for becoming a cranberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your Probus emotes, your early access to videos, and uh, definitely check out the Discord for the exclusive updates first. Thank you so much. Oh, the ID thing could be a struggle, definitely. It's a, it's a, I get a really strange mix of like, um, either, be, either being ID'd or me being prepared with my ID and them going, I wasn't going to ask you. <laughs> like, that's not even a joke. And I'm thinking like, did you have to say it like that though? Like, I'm not really someone who cares that much about age, but <laughs> did you have to say it like that? <laughs> no need to be rude about it. Crab pots and dish of the sea. I'm probably not going to make crab pots. I, I mean, I might later on, but probably not. I'm not reading that. What's in the mail today? Oh, a recipe from Pam, of course. And Jody wants a cauliflower. Do I have one to spare already? You just had wash your crops instead of water. I can't confidently say that I didn't say that. 
if I'm honest. Right, it's a really good luck day as well. So in addition to going to check out the car, I really should go to the mines today. You panicked to get in money of a scratch card and said three different ages, none of which were correct. <laughs> I think panic does everything. It makes people look so suspicious for literally no reason. I get that. I definitely get that. Right, where is the cave that I can get out with? Down here somewhere, isn't it? You forgot to switch out your harder community center. Oh no! Oh, that's why, because it's the other way. I knew it was something. <laughs> Praying for the merchant to have something good for us. And what's nice is because I'm allowed to use look up anything for this save, I can just F1 on pretty much any item and check what we need. You do kind of wash the crops, the dirt of the crops when you walk. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you go through security. Did I accidentally pack the weapons that I don't even own? <laughs> it's so awkward, isn't it? Right, have we, have we done this? Do we need this? Garden. 500 gold though. Do I want to spend 500 gold on this? Summer's kind of around the corner now. Hmm. Pufferfish, though. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the pufferfish. I won't buy the um. There's no point buying the spangle. Not at that price, because I think I think I can get it cheaper. Four cockles and you can't find them anywhere. That's a pain. Oh, another feather. What are you, a canary feather? Hydration reminder. Thank you. I mean, I feel like this is kind of anti-hydration, but... I just realised I went a very long way down to the bottom there. I do love this flavour of monster, though. Appreciate the hydration reminder. And that goes for, for everyone, of course. Ah! Um. Oysters. Right, I don't need anything in here. Let me sort this. So, this canary feather, I'm going to keep the gold one. I'll sell that one. Uh, you. And you. And let's refill these. Thanks, hello. Happy Friday to you too. Wait. And then we'll go to the mines. Oh yeah, how is the um flooding situation going? Need to remember to have water with it. You're not drinking it because you're thirsty, you're drinking it because of energy. I do have, I've got another actual drink here as well. Um, It's just like, I enjoy these. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's one of those things that when you haven't when there's enough caffeine in something, it kind of just like stops counting. Uh, do we know what feathers are useful yet? Oh yeah, I kind of looked it up and I just forgot there, if I'm honest. So I'll have a look at some point. I also kind of like want to find out later. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. You can eat soupy mashed potatoes with gravy. I mean, that still sounds delicious. If you like garlic, could also add a bit of garlic to like spice it up. Garlic mash is incredible. Abby, hello! Welcome in! I hope you've been doing well. It's good to see you. It's been fixed for now. I hope they find something more permanent. I don't want you to have to deal with this again. Right. Forage all in there. That That's just going to chill. And let's see if we can get any further today. There's a crab. 
I think I've already donated a crab though. I don't really need it. Oh, I mean, you didn't give me one anyway. Time and peppermint tea because you have a little cold. <laughs> Hope you feel better soon. Oh, what are you? What's in there? Ebony wood. That's new. I mean, that looked like a proper chest, though at least that wasn't like a one with trash in it. Oh, can I just not with these bugs? Go away. Oh, there is a ladder here. Then again, these can drop ancient seeds, right? <laughs> Maybe I should care about them. So. Oh, need it for the monster eradication goal. This is a good point. I'll need it eventually. I mean, I need everything eventually, right? No. Did I get... No. Okay. Let's get out of here. Eventually. <laughs> I mean, this is, it's going to be a very long eventually on this save, let's be honest, because of, uh, you know, the hundreds of things that we have to ship. <laughs> Combat, level up. At least we know we're not going to get an energy penalty tomorrow. This deserves a cherry bomb. Ah, so they may be useful in the future. Interesting. Oh, and I also found out from the person who made the mod that, uh, the... I saw a buffalo milk sold at Marnie's. You can't get new animals, however, you can just buy the milk, which is obviously needed for stuff. Later on, it is dark in here and I don't like it. I don't like- oh, there we go, there's our ladder. But I want the earth crystal. Go! Telling me one thing I need for shipping is spoiler. Um, a little bit just because like, we're kind of coming across stuff as we go. And I kind of- I find out anyway from like, I'll pick something up and look at it if that makes sense. And if it's got a little ship, shipping icon next to it, then I shall see. The insect head is a good early game weapon for you. Oh, I hate that thing. I I just don't even like looking at it. Maybe after 1.6. Yeah, that is that is what I heard. And kind of exciting. Sasha, hello. Welcome in. It's so gross. Some re I mean, valid reasons. Are, it's, it's just so... Ugh. I don't want to, like handle that thing i just want to like i wish i could get marlon to walk over to gil to take it to sell i mean he can even have it for free i don't want it <laughs> i don't want it i don't want it it's got good stats for an early game sword just I, even then i can't i just can't <laughs> i don't like creepy crawlies most of the time some i'm okay with but like mostly, mostly not. Yeah, was, hello, how you doing? Happy Friday. Oh, not these. You pick your weapons off vibes. Honestly, the way forward. It really is. You've got to like, be on the same wavelength as your weapon. Now, if you happen to be on the same wavelength as the bughead, then that, you know, if that works for you, then it works for you does not work for me. Little messenger, how you doing? Right, before we go any further, let's drop some stuff off. Um, <clears throat> I need to smelt some of this. So let's do that. Because a pickaxe upgrade is going to be needed soon for sure. Anything I want to bring with me? Not really. If we can get down to 40 today though, I'll be really happy. Oh, 
Aha. I'm doing good, thank you. I'm, um, I've been very excited to get back into the save. And, um, looking forward to recording something new over the weekend. I've got a few new things coming up. Um, a couple of them are a surprise. And one of them is the new series and the blueberries and cranberries know the progress of the poll that's going on. But I will reveal that at the weekend. Um, so if you're a blueberry and cranberry as well, you've got the mega movie for the second year of the One Life Challenge. But um, for everyone else, it'll be out tomorrow. So you're going to have another long video to enjoy and put on in the background. I'm feeling better. Not 100%, but better. If that makes sense. Progress, for sure. You love the title for the mega movie. <laughs> Not quite surviving two years to the One Life Challenge. <laughs> Concerned that you just tweeted about the 1.6 up. Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to look at this. Drop everything. <laughs> Twitter. When you say just, do you mean like just, just? Oh yeah. 13 minutes ago, 1.6 ended up being a little larger in scope than originally planned. I'm done adding major new content to it now. And it's in a bug fixing and polishing phase until it's ready for release. Thanks for your patience. It'll be fun to see everyone playing it. <gasps> oh my god, that's so exciting. Sasha, thank you so much for becoming a blueberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your Chromos emotes, your early access to videos, and there's a very special poll on the community tab. You paused the mega movie to watch the stream? Oh my god, I appreciate it. I appreciate you all. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm okay with using that single piece of coal because there's more over there. Hey, mining level up. Please, can I? Okay. <laughs> For some reason, it just wasn't letting me have the coal. You woke up several hours late. Well, it sounds like you really needed the rest. Oh my god, level 39, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, we really are gonna do this because I was kind of blocked in there. What do we get again? The rubbish slingshot. I don't I don't want to use it. <laughs> Michael, hello! Oh my god. Yeah. I I'm glad to like it's kind of worrying you for a little bit. <laughs> it was pretty rough. Um, more smelting. More smelting, and then let's see if we can get some distance down. <clears throat> I knew I had a field snack somewhere. How do you get UA info suite? You tried, but it didn't work. Um, you have to get it from GitHub and not Nexus. The link to it should be in the description. Oh, I should have brought bombs. Slash cherry bombs. Because there's a lot of iron down here and it's going to take a lot of hit. Oh, I don't want sap. I mean, I need sap. We've got the sticky bundle. Fine. Does anyone else chaotically mine nodes like that? Where you've got multiple and um, sometimes you just hit them all equally. <laughs> Instead of one at a time. <gasps> Coffee bean! Oh my god, yes. That's our first as well. Ooh, we're on the lookout for frozen tears. Actually, we need them for the community center too, I'm pretty sure. What's that down there? That's new. Onyx. A glimmering black gemstone said to have arcane properties. Okay, so there's a new ore, I guess, as well. Magic cauldron. Okay, well, we'll find out about that in time. I'm gonna need to shovel through all my berries just to um, survive these floors, it looks like. I might just let myself pass out here as well because, you know, why not? Have I got just so I can check? 
No. I wanted to see how far I was with... That's foraging. Oh, I was hoping to see my farming, like, XP progress. Not, like, just my level, but how far into the level I was. I mean, I'm hoping the strawberries will get me to a place that I can have sprinklers next season. I mean, surely. Surely. Don't worry with them um, when it comes to most things. I will hoard the first at least one every single time. Oh, I thought I left a, a ladder down here. I mean, up here. Right. <gasps> Wait! Weapon! Lead rod! This is better! 18 to 27, yes. Let's go. Because we can do the smashy thing. <laughs> How much is that on it? Oh, it's 500. It's not even like that much worth selling. Frozen tear. Oh my goodness. Is that a new ore as well? Not a new ore, but like a new. It's a new node. Silver ore. Ooh, okay, it is a new ore. Interesting. Okay, cool. So many things to discover. You've been sleeping well this week. I hope you have a good restful weekend ahead. Honestly, it's the worst when you can't, like, get some good sleep in. To be honest, when it comes to gemstones, I mostly, like, just gemstones in general, I mostly don't sell them until I, like, figure out I don't need them anymore if that makes sense. I used to do that like before but I've kind of learned over time that a lot of them end up having a use whether it's crafting gifts like <laughs> all the things. Yeah we can make it down one more floor today. Oh yeah because the ladder's literally there. And we have a coffee bean that I want to make sure I get down. I've missed an iron node, but I just want to, like, make sure I get to this floor. What have you got? More of the ebony wood. Okay, cool. And I'm definitely going to make sure I get all of these dust sprites, because we want the burglaring, like, sooner rather than later. Right, I'm not going to progress anywhere, I'm just using this ladder because it's close. Oh, I do want these ores, but um, just using the ladder because it's closer, and I think that'll do. I'm not going to make it back in time, but I just want to make sure I get some stuff uh, smelting. Oh, cool. Right, what else? I need to figure out what I want to take and what I want to leave here, so I'd like to put everything in first. Let's have a look. I'll take these home to store. And these as well. And then forage. I'll leave the cave carrots here because I've got one at home. I definitely need to bring seeds home. We'll bring that to put at home as well. Um, I'll leave the stone. I think that'll do for now. The rest can kind of just hang out. And what I'm going to do the rest of the time, I've got space. I'm going to just get coal. Which goal do I struggle with the most? Probably... My last ones are usually the serpents or mummies, just because, like, most of the time I just can't be bothered with the serpent. And the mummies are also a pain, unless I specifically go and get the crusader enchantment. <laughs> Giving up on study. It's way too late in the day to think properly. At least you can, like, recognise where your brain's at, you know? 
I just realized I've got an inventory full of stuff. Well, that's stupid, isn't it? I can see that there's... I think that's a trash box. Right, I'm just going to hang out here and let myself pass out and have a drink. <laughs> Experience bars lets you see how far you could hover over and see as well. I um, it's just because like, as I scroll through my tools, I have to wait for one with like farming to show up. Level two combat life elixir. Oh, th I like the look of this version of the life elixir. And level three mining. I take a hundred gold. stressed but happy to relax here honestly i'm glad that you can recognize like when you need a rest if that makes sense because that that can also make a huge difference to how well the studying goes wow 77 gold how dare you oh it's shane's birthday do i have anything for him i don't know is the question i probably should have rushed home with this um coffee bean but that's fine <gasps> There we go, we can have sprinklers soon, so I need to prioritise smelting, like, ASAP. Right, do I have time for this? Eight days, but quicker next to water, so I should be able to plant these. Now, where have I put... Have I got more ebony wood? Oh, this is all my ebony wood, okay. So, I am going to put those in... Probably my resource chest for now. Uh, I suppose I should probably make another... Another resource chest for like special ones later on. Okay, so I need this. How is this not a treasure hunter thing? I'll take it to. Oh, field research. Um, that's fine. I know I've already got like a topaz and stuff in here. Autumn, hello. How you doing? No need to apologize at all. Life comes first. Maybe we'll go and donate some of our museum pieces today. Got three of those and... Should we just take all these with us? I don't think I've got enough to like finish any bundles so I don't know if it's worth it yet. I like to like, where I can, finish a bundle. Yeah, maybe we'll go and um, open those shields as well actually. Why not, you know? Oh, Shane's birthday. Um, let's have a look. Shane, where are you? Probably gone past him somewhere. I wish I could F1 over that icon over there, but I can't seem to do that. I've definitely scrolled past him multiple times at this... Oh, there he is. So, you're not having the clover or the mithril feather. Salmon berry. I can just give him a salmon berry. That'll do. <laughs> yeah, I'll just give him a salmon berry. Not a love gift, but that's fine with me. Right. Keeping these again. Let's go to Clint's. Just give a beer as well. Oh yeah, I can just go buy a beer, can't I? I forgot about that. I always forget about that. I'll do that later. Have you had to like the stream? Yes, thank you for the reminder. If you are enjoying yourself today, please do hit the like button. It does help us out a lot and it's a good little free way to support the channel. I just almost walked to the saloon for Clint's again. Let me say hello at least to you. I can give the gift later. Why are you bothering me? You want to be alone? Okay, cool. You're probably going to change your mind um this evening when i hand you a beer but sure sure you definitely learn to stop when you know you can't do quality work because it will happen faster if you wait in the morning till the morning honestly yeah i get that <laughs> the way that i start to realize it and maybe i'm waiting too long technically but Especially when I'm like scripting 
I can almost like feel my brain ticking when I'm trying to like write or like do anything work related and when I can feel that kind of grind inside my brain I'm like okay I just I need to stop <laughs> Done that before we even started? Why, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. It would be nice to get the early melon seeds as well before summer. Brain's not functioning properly for a decent active conversation. Honestly, have a good relaxing time. You've had a lot going on. Totally understandable. I appreciate you as always. I should probably at least say hello to Clint, right? As much as I really don't want to. Today will be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare rewards. Well, I have been, so like, there. <laughs> Where do you think I got these geodes from, Clint? Oh, I'll collect, I haven't collected rewards, hello. Whoops. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> we'll do it now. Um. Hey, there we go. Thank you for those. Oh, too, way too late on the cauliflower seeds. I mean, at least we've got them for next year. I can either get them for next year or maybe like as an emergency, I might end up selling the seeds straight. I wonder how long those have been there. I don't remember. Why did I just try to use the minecarts? I don't remember when I um got them as in like past. When did I donate my first half to the museum? I. It might have been too late by then anyway. You get really clear brain fog when you work for too long. Helps when <laughs> recognize when they need to stop, honestly. When you struggle to open files, then you need to stop animating. Yeah, sounds about right. It's like I can feel the physical like resistance in my brain. It's really strange. I'll just like chill and play something or watch something to let my brain wind down for a bit. So I did that for a couple of hours before the stream today. Oh, that's new. Nettle blossom. That's freaking adorable. A purple flower from a stinging nettle plant. These flowers can be eaten in salads or cooked like a vegetable. They have an aroma. They have a fresh citrus aroma and a slightly better taste. I love the descriptions of this. I wanted to see how much stuff I specifically needed to keep it for and I don't think very much so as in like there are other things that will work as a substitute so I will ship one definitely what I'm loving is the amount of forage that I'm finding on the ground even if it is just trash what's my favorite stardew animal mm, Ooh, I mean it's probably gonna be the chicken and just like one of the plain chickens, like not even the special ones. They're just so cute. There's something about them. Right, let's get more iron in. And maybe we'll mine once they're up here because... Um, one, I need to wait for iron to smell anyway. And two, it's, a, it's not a, an amazing luck day, but it is a good luck day still. Like, I might as well make some progress, right? Oh, that's a chest that I've not seen before. That is sandalwood. I really love that there's more in the mines than usual. Like, it's very pleasing to a loot goblin. Very, very pleasing. Going on a short walk helps your revive your ability to do things. I get like a wave of that for like minutes and then I get tired again. <laughs> That's a chronic fatigue life, isn't it? <laughs> Going on a walk resets your brain. I wish it would like give me a boost that would last. Because, like, the way that I end up is almost at the level of, like, sugar crash. 
a lot of the time. And I'm okay with that, it's just kind of like how my body is and that, that's fine. It's just like, as long as I know how to deal with it, I guess, I don't know. Or just like, know how to expect it. <gasps> Proper bum, okay. Um, there we go. Resetting is in you have more energy, but you have to convince your ADHD brain to do the task all over again. <laughs> You've already spent some, like, of your executive function on going on the walk, so. It's, to it's totally understandable. Go away! Leave me alone! Where's the stam ladder? I mean mine upwards. Actually, if I kill the slime, that will help. Now it's got it. There we go. <laughs> Did it. They have a tiny bit more chance of showing up after you kill every monster. Right, almost out of energy. More tasks. We just went on a walk. Honestly. And I feel like with a lot of those things, like, walking feels great, but, like, I, I just gotta get myself out the door. That's half the thing. Oh, hardwood. Win. I love that. Right. This is a lot of enemies that are spreading out, and that's very inconvenient. Progress. Progress. Not leaving without that iron that's just like on the ground and free. Thank you. Melissa, hello, how you doing? Happy Friday. Have I decided who I'm gonna marry yet? No. I don't think so. Did I decide? Wait. <laughs> I don't know. It might be Sebastian. Right. Who are my choices? Okay. So, given that one life has ended, I was going to marry Emily in one life, so she's back on the table again. Um, so we've got the choice of Haley, Penny, Elliot, Sebastian, Sam, Harvey, we said Emily already, Abigail, and that's it. But, Sam, Sam is like at the bottom of my list that I'm not too fussed about doing until like maybe last. Because I, I, I hear that his cutscenes are a big ick, not Maru. Um, I've already married Maru. Also Elliot, um, uh... <laughs> Emily will be good for an artisan playthrough. I mean, I do have to make a lot of artisan products in this. If that counts. Usually marry Abigail. Have never. No, wait, what's going on? I just got stuck on the emote screen. That was weird. Walking is great if you need to be more alert, but if you're already mentally or physically exhausted, it's short-lived. I don't know why that specific thing reminded me, but like... What was I... <sighs> I can't remember whose video I saw about this, but someone talked about like rest. Ooh, combat boots. Are they better than what I've got? Am I wearing any boots? I'm not even wearing any boots. So yeah, they're going to be better than what I have, which is nothing. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, so rest is wild because I think they said that there was something like seven types of rest and like all of them are important. So there's like mental rest, emotional rest, physical rest. There's other types of rest as well. Social rest? Social rest? I can't remember. Th there was a lot. And um, they all matter. So um, I think I need to look into that more.
Just still do the free love mod. Oh yeah, wait. I might not do the free love mod, but there might still be there might be time, or there will be time in this playthrough to marry. At least to probably like divorce. I don't know. I like having a, a spouse per playthrough though. I don't know. There's just something about it. Because this isn't gonna be my last ever Stardew playthrough, you know. Right, need that. I forgot that that's the first time I was getting a lot of the winter forage. Um, once again, just trying to determine what I need to take home with me. And we'll go and ship one of each of them just to get that done. I must make sure I leave room to give Shane a gift. Which we have done. Walk to the best of 4am. I would be too scared for that. Unless it's like in the summer and it's like basically becoming daylight already. They help you get out of your own head. Helps with the stress. Hard to get yourself to go out when you're already mentally exhausted. Honestly. Most of the struggle, about 70 to 80% of the struggle is just getting out the door. Because once I'm out, I'm like, enjoying it. <laughs> oh, it's busy today, isn't it? Right. I'm looking for... Wow, look at all this stuff. Wait, coffee's in here twice. Why is this coffee more expensive than that coffee? Why is this... Wait. I'm not gonna question it, I'm just gonna find the beer. Oh my god, that's most of my gold. Whatever. You better enjoy this. This is a present for me. You really do know what I like. You trying to get faves from me or something? No, you're a weird one then. But, well, thanks, I appreciate this. It's kind of, it's so awkward. So awkward. Whilst we're here, let's also hand off this. And I'm just going to say hi to most other people. Might as well get a few friendship points, you know. Gotta go, but can't wait to catch the rest later. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope you have a good uh, rest of your day. Appreciate it. Treadmill and videos it is. I mean, hey, at least that eliminates the getting out the door part. <laughs> You do solo backpacking, so planning for more difficult trips means you got to get your legs in shape. Oh my god, that sounds like so much fun. And also a lot. Oh, it's at the gym. Damn it. I just... Oh, I hate when I do that. When I reorganised my hotbar and I didn't... I really didn't want to. Right, so that's going in there. The other three are going to go for sprinklers and those aren't going to come until tonight. Uh, you go in there. Those are for shipping. I'll leave the season here for now. The slime I'm going to leave because I... Wait, how many bat wings do I need? Where's the adventurer's bundle? There. Ten. Oh, I've got more than enough, so I can ship one. Ship one of them. Ship one of them. And then... Those. That's already in there, but I need another one for... The museum. I forgot to ship the ore. We'll get there. We'll get there. You wish you're doing tread well. Oh, see, I would love. <sighs> Wait. Is this the right place? Yeah. I would love, um, like a desk treadmill, but that would also involve getting a new, like, sit stand desk, which. I mean, both things are a lot of money. This is the wrong chest. There we go. Alright, how are we doing for forage? So, I've accumulated a lot. How 
However, less than I thought. I do have time to plant another batch, so I might go ahead and do that, because I know it's going to be a lot of watering, but I think it's still worth it. Any of these not been shipped yet? I haven't shipped to Morel. I think that's mainly it. Just so I can get a little bit of pocket change before tomorrow. So... I should be able to plant the forage tomorrow and the reason I'm waiting is because I want to do my first few sprinklers and then plan it around that. Even though it's only three sprinklers. Actually, it'll be five if I walk to the mine. you got little desk pedals. Oh, your friend has little desk pedals. I have them as well. But I don't know why I don't use them. I think it's because like I'm a really awkward height, so like I can't reach them properly without it moving. Stepper thing? I, maybe I need to find like a stepper version um, instead. There's our sprinkler. I'm excited about that. Didn't make very much gold, but it still like paid for some of the beer, right? What mod am I using that lets me see something is useful by hovering over it? So, um, just for the hovering over it, see your info suite too, but with the whole like menu thing that comes up, like if I F1, if I F1 on the salmon berries, that's to look up anything. But just hovering over it, oh, I need to ship one, is UA Info Sweet. It's also reminding me about the Queen of Swords, because I would have forgotten otherwise. <laughs> Strawberries! Right, let's grab all these. This is really exciting. Oh my god, yes. Be surprised if we don't level up today. Yeah, there we go. Level 3... So, I don't think I need these for the community centre. No, I do not. I'm going to ship all the silver ones and keep literally the rest. So, this is my crop chest. Just put the wrong ones away. And then sprinklers. So, where are we going to plant those? Place those. You don't plant sprinklers. Okay. One here. One here. The next one would be here. I'm trying to pick, put them in places that make sense, like, just for now. Oh, wait. Well, the next one would have been here. I'm just going to put it... No. I don't really want to destroy anything, you see. This will do. It's still doing something, even though it's not, like, the perfect pattern. Uh, okay. Still got to water everything anyway. Actually, I can go and get a couple more, can't I? So let's do that first. Because I've got two more bars of iron waiting for me. Need to go, but can't wait to watch the rest later. Thank you so much for hanging out, Autumn. Hope you have a good rest of your day or evening. You didn't know that your info suite had that function? It's so good. It's so good. I'm going... No, I'm going the right way. I just didn't take the shortcut. Lisa, Lisa, hello! Love the farm map, it's beautiful. It's amazing, isn't it? There's so much to it, I can't wait to like fill it out. But that's why I got it, so that we have room to grow. Brought my watering can to the mines for some reason. We can ship this too now. I need to be quick with this because I also need to check the merchant and then if I need something from there then I'm gonna have to go and sell to Pierre directly. Actually whilst we're at it let's make one more furnace. We might as well do that. There we go. Mm, and then I can bring some other stuff down whilst I'm here. Even if it's all just like the trash, basically. Cave carrots are good for emergency food, so I'll leave them there. 
nope, can't use those. They don't work. <laughs> There's a mod you find useful for Rapidex. What mod is that? Took all the winter to clean up the farm. Place parts everywhere. Added and you also added the animal pens that are optional on the map. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I have to turn that on myself. Is it something that I'm able to do without it breaking? Now, not like now, now, but like kind of in between. I am excited about getting the place cleaned up though and paths and stuff down. I do want to prioritize that, but at the same time, there's like so much stuff just in general to deal with. Right, so until we figure out the sprinklers properly, they're just going to go in places that don't really make sense. And that'll take us probably into summer because most things are going to stick around. Actually, everything's going to stick around till summer. The quality retaining soil I'm also just going to ship because I don't see myself using it. <laughs> I know like it could be useful now but it's just like for two tiles to possibly be watered and not definitely be watered I can't be bothered. I might as well get the silly tiny amount of gold from it. Right, this is the mine's chest. I need to recolor it. There we go. You just start playing Power World and it's really addicting. Honestly, could not agree more. What am I doing? Did I put the... Oh, I put the wrong thing in there. Also, I need the spot underneath the sprinkler to be untilled. Right, watering done. Put this away. Actually... I oh, know it can stay in here because I can just take it to Pierre's after I can remove it from there if need be. If you use CJB items one, you can actually just look up items by name in the search menu and use it to research the production lines. I never thought of using it like that. I kind of feel weird though. Obviously, even if I'm like not using it to spawn items in. I just, uh, the only time I, to be fair, the only time I actually use that um, particular mod is for like thumbnails when um, just kind of make my life a little bit easier. Is that new? Yes, it is. Yes, get yourself some water or anything that you like to drink. I know that water is not something that anyone or everyone likes. Right, I think I've already got... Oh, red cabbage seed. We need that. So I need to go make some money because I'm like 50 sure. Large mouth bass I can catch myself. I don't think I need the link odd. Um, have I already caught the eel? Yes. I haven't caught the large mouth bass yet, but I can do that later on myself. So I really need... I really need the red cabbage seed. So let's go and make some money for that. I can't believe that, yeah. Three weeks into the save and I've got a red cabbage seed on offer. 500 gold isn't like a horrible amount either. The main thing, I mean, I was mainly using look up anything on the island artisan for that. And I, I think may helped me with this as well, but we had a spreadsheet going with everything that I like needed to do. Does it have a gifting guide? Um, I use look up anything to tell me. <laughs> Cause obviously if you, so if I take Pam and hit F1 on her, um, you can see, so that the items that are, um, like in black text will tell you what you've got that you can give is like a loved gift. All the things in grey are other things that they either like or love, depending on what section you're in. A lot of scrolling, um, but it tells you everything they love. Like all, these are all the light gifts I currently have, if that makes sense. 
you can also activate it so that it tells you disliked and hated gifts and stuff, but I don't tend to use that. It does take some time to load, doesn't it? Can you add the mod to it after? Um, if you mean look up anything, yes, you can add it at any point. What was I here for again? Oh yeah, I needed to sell some stuff directly to Pierre. So I'm gonna take Basically, I'm going to make sure I leave one of the strawberries in there because I need to ship it. Like, need to ship it. What else can I sell to him? None of that. Um. Oh, these can be shipped as well. Some things I do just want to straight ship still. For literal shipping completion which are those things but I think I mean this is going to get me enough anyway anything else I can just take oh I can take the um some of the forage seeds to sell and I wanted to plant some anyway let's just we'll take 30 to Pierre you can have one on grayed out items and it will tell you what they are oh yeah that works so well doesn't it same with the recipes too It's so good. Using it as a lifesaver with the more fish mod. Oh, good grief. I can imagine that as a pain. I don't think I'd get by without look up anything with the fish mod. Well, he wants a leak. I can help. Oh, it's the Jojo cutscene, right? I'm skipping that. I can't be bothered. Hi, Pierre. Can you take all of these off my hands, please? Uh, let's say hello to people. And then get out of here. Keep the item spawner in mind. Save you tens of hours finding your way down production lines. I'll, um, I'll probably consider it maybe later game to look at stuff. I mean, I suppose it's kind of also... Everyone will know that I won't be using it to cheat because I'll literally be using it on a stream so there is that that it kind of makes it better right but i oh know i just feel weird i feel weird so i wanted to make sure i planted some of these especially in spots that i know are going to get watered tomorrow right like i might as well make use of them whoops so you three four and you. These, oh no, that is going to be watered. This one isn't. And I do need to water these today to make sure they're ready on time. I'm going to run out on the last one, aren't I? Oh no, there's four. It feels better when there's like more. Usually stream when you're working. Hi from New Zealand. Oh my goodness, hello. Hello from the literal opposite side of the world. Um, maybe not fully literal. You know what? Why am I over explaining? I, I do this all the time. But hello, welcome. There was a fire reunion. I hope everyone's okay. This is your favorite Stardew song? It's a good song, isn't it? No one got hurt, but so, okay, fair enough. Uh, you know, if no one got hurt, then it's, it's fine. You never learn. Hello, how you doing? Right, now I've got to remember what I was here for. It was the red cabbage seed. Now, I still have enough of the rare seed, but I think I'm going to... I mean, chances are they're going to come up again. So I'll leave it. We need the money for loads of other things now. Oh, I should have gone yesterday. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should just go and grab the spring onions, but I'm like a day later than I should be. I mean, they change every day, but forage in general, I should have come yesterday. Oh, there's quite a lot today as well. <laughs> Can't 
couple at the sewer. Didn't miss them this time. That'll do for the foraging. It wasn't the building you have to take your exam in. I wonder if it was the building that someone else has to take their exams in. <laughs> you got the artisan mod because of me. Now you're back into your... The Stardew Valley. Oh my god. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. It's a good feeling when you find something that kind of like reignites the excitement. You forgot about the lettering part of this one and get so confused. It's just everywhere, isn't it? Right, this mushroom's done. Anything else multiple I can ship? I don't really want to ship those. Wild daisy. Those, those, and those. Now, are these better than... Hang on. Spring onions are not better than salmon berries, so I might just first of all i'm gonna check if i need them for like ingredients doesn't say that i do at the moment but i don't know if that's i mean it wouldn't come up later would it i'll just sell the quality ones i'll keep the basic ones in case i want them that'll do the canteen of all places okay i suppose it makes sense that that's where the fire was right do onions normally spawn by the sewer uh i think i think they do I'm pretty sure. I also want to go check my um, fruit cave. Probably should have gone in the daylight. Oh, no, it's fine. It's lit up in here. Orange! Oh, don't smack it. Oh, shit. Nope. This is going to be good... Uh, Gifts for Gus, though. I don't know if I want to ship. Oh, there's a more orange. Okay, I can ship one. Traversing this farm is such an adventure. Honestly. So much to find. Looks like I'm really enjoying the fact that we've got the fruit early. Oh, more salmon berries. This is probably going to be a quality one, isn't it? Nope. No, it's not. I was wrong. I'm fine with that though because it stacks. I'll probably just ship the silver one or one of the silver ones. I really can't wait to get like a glowy type ring. Any of the variations of rings that produce light. Because this is no fun walking around in the dark. I hope I haven't been putting my fruit over my forage. No, I haven't. Okay. New week. Let's go. Bee house, speed grow, farmer's lunch. Maybe we'll do this bee the bee house later on. I don't make enough use of those. Maybe I will with this particular one. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll probably need to actually. Not a good luck day today, rip. It's so nice not having quite as much watering though, I will say. All done, already. So much quicker, so much less energy. Oh, and I need to bring a leak for Willy as well. So we'll do that. Oh, maybe we'll go get the better rod today. Um, we'll give him a better one because I think it gives you higher friendship points, doesn't it? So I'll leave the training rod here. We'll go and get the... What's it called again? The fiberglass pole. 
And I don't really need to bring either of these with me. Oh, actually, I do tend to take my weapon with me because sometimes... Sometimes I walk through an area that has a load of, uh, like... You know, the fiber weeds. You just did an archipelago randomizer run and it was so much fun. Oh, they're just so good, aren't they? What's the item that's three rods? Um, it's a different type of wood. I haven't had to use it yet, that's... Look at that! The loot goblin eyes! There was a forage behind here. I might also have a quick look in PS today and see if there's any... Or see if I can afford anything. But I just wanted to see if there were like fun new seeds that I haven't planted yet in there. And I don't think there are, but I can't remember. There's bamboo and then there's um, ebony wood and sandalwood and they're all three rods, I'm pretty sure. Missed one strawberry swat? I'll go back for it uh, after this. I want to hand in this leak, I want to buy a rod, and then I want to... Wait, do I need to do anything here? Oh yeah, Jodie's cauliflower, I forgot about that. I need to do that too. Bellatrix, hello, how you doing? This is for you. Enjoy. I hope it goes well with some sort of, like, fish dish. I'll sit here and wait until you go to your shop. We'll have a drink whilst we wait. There we go, give me that fiberglass rod. Grilled salmon and grilled leek. That does sound like a really good combo. You wish you could play Stardew, it's Marnie's birthday in your save? New concerned eight tweets? Yes! I can't believe that it's in the final stages now. Um, although like I'm not putting any expectation on how long that phase would take. Because, like, you know, we have no way of knowing. We just have to see what happens. I feel like this sounds really bright on this recolor, but, like, it's cute at the same time. Haunted chocolate is sitting in the back covered in cobwebs. Well, here's the thing, though, is that, like, people are excited about the Stardew update and, like, I feel like no matter how long it takes, everyone's going to be excited about Haunted Chocolatier in the end. Right, give me... Let me see if there's... No, there's not new seeds because I... Oh! Roasting pouch, sweet potato chips. Oh no, I thought I missed seeds. I didn't. Ooh! Look at those beans! I think I have to wait until I find the new people, though we do have sapling. I'm gonna wait for the saplings till later though. And I will be fishing, but I wanna go and drop a lot of this stuff off first. I mean, especially when it's concerned ape, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of things that really are just worth the wait. Right. Oh, that's for the dye bundle. I've also not shipped one. Any of these? No. Um, oh, I guess I do need to keep some of these then. Oh, the clam can go. Then the daffodils. I think that was what I was low on for more seeds, so maybe I might just make them. And then I will have a look at the spot that I've missed. Look at all this progress. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh, it's like a glaring miss as well. There we go. Thank you for letting me know. Alright, let's have a look at 
what we can do in the community center. Like, what can we finish? Largemouth bass, that's an easy one. Um, river fish bundle, no, I need rain. Fish farmers bundle, I'll have to wait for. I've got one of the speciality fish already. Some of them I don't even have access to yet. These are all summer. Mainly the lake fish bundle. Yeah. And potentially one of the quality fish. And whilst I'm at the mines as well, I'll go and grab more bug meat for bait. You have a big orchard on your farm? If you did this mud pack, you'll be overrun. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to be using. Like, for an orchard. I probably will have an orchard. Like, maybe this is a good area for that. I feel like this is the perfect place. I don't really care if they're not done. Like... For every season, if that makes sense. Like, I'd rather... I'd rather use greenhouse space on other things. I mean, maybe the edges, though. But then I also like to use the edges of things like greenhouses for more kegs. So, I don't know. Right, now I think before I even fish, I might as well go and um, get the bug meat first. Did not know that, but I can't use automate until I unlock the walnut room. So we're quite a far, we're quite a long way off that. My first sort of major unlock will probably be, I mean, it will be, um, harvest with scythe, which will be when I do the first house upgrade. Although we're still, we're still quite a ways off that too. Use the beach space for a huge orchard. You have seven of each. Oh my goodness. The beach farm, not the island farm. That makes sense. What's my favorite animal? Um, Probably just the ordinary chicken. I just think they're really cute. There's something about them that's just like adorable. Treasure! Look at me willingly fishing with like no prompting. Are you proud of- oh! Emeralds! Okay, perfect. Very worth it today. <laughs> you gonna send something in the Discord? Can you tag? Um, if you send it in the Discord, I'll see it anyway. Ew, green algae. I kind of need that though. Gonna need it for the fish pond. I almost said fish farm. I suppose it is a type of fish farm, right? Pictures and art. I will have a look after the stream. Thank you. I need a large mouth bass, please. I know you're not one. At least I can start getting qualities of fish now so that uh, we can sell them for a little bit more. Yeah, chickens as pets growing up. <gasps> That's adorable. I don't think it's weird. I, I feel like it's a lot more common than people think. I mean, it's certainly not like common, but maybe it's just like the corner of the internet that I watch makes it feel like that there are more people with chickens than there really are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what was weird? Is that a pet store that I used to go to used to sell chickens? I mean, if you're in the UK, that some branches of pets at home used to sell chicken. Like what? They are so cute. Just be so cool. Like the idea of having like also, you know, looking after your chickens so you know how they're treated, getting your own fresh eggs. However. The idea of cleaning the place does not appeal to me. That's the only thing. Would be good, good for the uh, crops that we grow though, you know. Oh, 
I need to change the fishing sound. After this fish, I'll change the fishing sound. Because I know that some of you chill and um, also fish whilst I'm also fishing, and I don't want you to mistake the sound. So let me catch this one and I will change it. There's the largemouth bass. We got the quality one as well. Okay. Um... There we go. That's the one I usually use. They're incredible little characters. Dem <laughs> probably demanding breakfast by now. Oh, cleaning them. But yeah, it's just um, I'm very aware of the um. I mean, I know it's like, I know it's poop, but specifically this smell of chicken poop is very pungent. <laughs> Chickens are little dinosaurs. You raise them for a while. They're great as long as you keep the coop clean. Yeah. Because I used to buy um, chicken poop to fertilize my stuff, my vegetables with. They're easier to take care of than a garden. Interesting. It's just, like I said, it's the cleaning for me. And it's not that I would never, obviously, it's not that I would never clean them, but obviously, it would mean that, like, I probably wouldn't want to own them for that reason. Maybe it'll change as I um, get older. I don't know. Just see me in 10 years time like, got my chickens. Your neighbors growing up had some super aggressive chickens, so you're kind of scared of them, but you do admire them from afar. I've heard that some of them can be very um, loving. You didn't get the notification, Leah. Hello, how are you doing? YouTube being YouTube, basically. Got one more hour to catch another largemouth bass. I haven't already. Yeah, no, I haven't. You want goats too? Okay, that would be adorable. There we go. That's enough fishing for me for now. We've got enough to complete a bundle and make another donation. <laughs> That's enough to satisfy my brain for the day. Well, not satisfy my brain, I've like had enough. I will say I don't like goat, goat milk or goat cheese. bunch of free roaming goats before the landlord to quickly change the contract that's wild imagine that not be like not keeping livestock being in the contract uh, not being in the contract <laughs> what a glaring omission <laughs> hey the vault's open <gasps> we need to get the desert open as soon as possible wait you're negotiating ducks and pit wait you can do that <gasps> Our first special bundles! Here are the Rapidax bundles. Oh my god! Okay, let's look at this one. Main room. A secret. Right. Rare spring crops. So, raspberry, Saskatoon, wisteria. These are all things I haven't seen yet, so we need to find the people, but one of the places I really want to rush is the desert because I know that there's an NPC we need to meet there. Look at all this fun artisan product. Uh, rare summer crops. And then... Ooh! Fairy's Wish. Are these all perfumes? They look like perfumes. And then we got like, full crops as well. This is so cool. And then... Mushrooming bundle. Oh, we've got some of this at home. Or well, one of these at home. Whoa, look at that! We've got the flowering bundle. Okay, we've got some of those at home. Then we've got some of all of it at home. So I do need to make sure I go foraging. We've got some of the feathers as well. Herbal bundle. We've got one of these. And the fruit gathering bundle. I've seen none of the. Whoa, look at that plum. That's kind of terrifying. Oh, let me leave an emerald here. Fresh goat's milk is great. A lot of lactose sensitive or intolerant people can use goat milk products as well. I just don't like the taste. 
It tastes too, um, I don't know what the, the word is, but there's a taste that it has that I just don't get along with. Quite simply. Oh, that's so exciting. The new bundles. That's what we've been waiting for. You near a big agriculture university? Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. You find fresh goat milk is a lot less pungent. I don't know what it is. You've heard it's much closer to cows. Oh, if it's fresh, I see. I think it's just like, you know, um, there's a lot of things that once you've had it bad once, it's hard to unlearn that, if that makes sense. Oh, that can just go to the donation chest. I want to keep the emerald just in case. Why is it still flashing? Well, I've donated it. Well, I know I've donated it today. And fish-wise, I've got all of these already. Oh yeah, I need to put that in the field research. I'm going to sell some of it. So, you can go in there. And at some point I really do need to do a donation run. Um, oh, wait, did I really put a chub in? Yeah. Let's get like a little bit of money. <laughs> Have I got green algae at all yet? Oh, I have. I had some anyway. Okay, never mind. And the fishing tackle will go in with the fish. You like honey goat cheese? The honey cancels it out. The weird that comes with the goat cheese? Yeah, it's the weird. The weird that I find weird. <laughs> You had a friend that was sensitive but com became completely intolerant. That's so rough. The pungent taste is called gamey in your experience. You don't know if that's the word when it's not meat. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Goats are very efficient in turning grass stuff into proteins in terms of cal uh, into milk in terms of calories and proteins when compared to cows. I'm enjoying all these facts. Oh, we've got the flower dance tomorrow. Can we even ask anyone? We can ask Shane. I don't really want to ask Shane, but it would be silly not to get the extra heart, right? It would be really silly. I sold those green beans because we've got some already. Keep watering spots that are already watered. Somebody stop me. Not that you could, but you know. Okay, cool. And today, it's not a very good luck day or anything, so I'm gonna use this as a tree chopping day because there are trees popping up all over the place and I need to get a little handle on them before they get out of hand. Glad that you can blurt your weird fun agricultural facts in Stardew Valley trees. Honestly, it's the best place, isn't it? Best place for it. Unclear whether goats or dogs were the first domesticated animals, but it's one of the two. That's so cool. The way we pasteurize the milk might affect it too. That would make sense. I know a lot of people advocate for raw milk. Like, obviously, I know it comes with some potential risk, but like, isn't it meant to be like nutritionally better as raw or am i mistake did i mishear that somewhere you didn't install the rapid x bundles mod i think you can add them because they're separate but check the mod page for that kind of information i'm pretty sure you can just add them though Barely any different, people love to think things. Ah, 
Good to know. Good to know. Got to head out for the day. Have to get some rest. I hope you have a good rest, Nina. And thank you so much for hanging out, as usual. Um, what was I going to say? That's the thing. Is like, wasn't there a whole thing about like, you know, like the whole like brown brown rice versus white rice thing, and it's like literally barely any better. <laughs> Some say it's more nutrient dense, but some studies have found haven't studies have found haven't found sufficient evidence that that's true. It doesn't seem to change it. Interesting. It's hard to know, isn't it? <laughs> Slight chance of getting sick. Yeah, see, that's that's what what I'd be scared of. It tastes a lot better though, as raw. Brown rice is harder to digest, so white rice is more accessible for people. That's that's what I heard is like, because people think, oh, you know, keep the things more whole. But I mean, it's the same thing with there's like a lot of foods out there that the nutrients become a lot more available to you when you cook them versus having them raw. <laughs> yeah, please don't drink raw milk if you're lactose intolerant. You did it once in zero out of ten, don't recommend. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, please don't find out the hard way. That's not good. I need to figure out um trying even though like that stuff like I haven't had good experiences with it in the past, but I know that things get better. As like year, years go on but like you know the long life milk that stuff scares me but like i feel like i'd have better luck not wasting milk if i had that because the amount of times that um i've had milk go off even when it's not supposed to have yet but then a lot of the time like when i have milk it doesn't it goes off like a lot later than it says i mostly go off but that's the thing with like unless it's like meat or like yogurt or something um when it comes to things like milk uh and like vegetables and stuff i don't usually listen to the date that's on there i go by like right has the milk started to go lumpy is the vegetable like moldy like people will throw away perfectly good stuff because of a number on a packet without like making a judgment for themselves you can usually see if something's okay or not Apparently you can become lactose intolerant if you don't have dairy for a really long time. That makes sense, I guess, because you're like... Gut isn't used to digesting that stuff anymore. Suggested and not a hard rule. I think they've even started doing the thing here where, um, on fruit and vegetables specifically, the dates, as in like whole fruit and vegetables, not like pre-prepared, but... The dates on there, like, they aren't... It doesn't technically say anymore there's a number on there and i know what it means because i worked at a supermarket but it doesn't technically say like oh best before this date anymore um some people either end up either saying it's not dangerous at all people who don't know much about it say you'll die <laughs> like i'm not gonna throw away like a vegetable if it's not like you can see it's clearly not off You don't like the best buy versus use by versus sell by because they all mean different things. See, I do like that because like sometimes it's the like knowing that difference. Like when it comes to meat, it will always say use by. So like that one is like follow, but best before is like um you can still use it after that date probably if you can inspect it and check that it's not gone bad, but it probably won't be as good as it was if you you know ate it before that date. Does it smell weird? weird? Does it feel weird? Does it taste weird? <laughs> See, I like to not let it get to the does it taste weird part. <laughs> also, eggs. Eggs last so much longer than they say they're going to as well. Um, or at least the ones in stores do. I imagine fresh eggs are a lot less, but... <sighs> the, the, the eggs last so much longer. They're not as good, but they they're fine. Water test for eggs? Wait. Oh, how do we how do you do that again? 
I think I've only ever experienced one bad egg ever. And it's always like way past the date that it says. Um, and when I say experienced a bad egg, I got lucky and the membrane didn't break. And I could see that it was bad on the inside. Bad eggs float. Okay, thank you. I will start I'll start doing that from now on because that makes me feel better. Because I do get a little bit nervous. It feels like a stinky roulette. <laughs> For like if you get a bad egg. Because the amount of times I've been told, like, you will never forget the day that you come across your first rotten egg. Or like open your first rotten egg. And I, I don't want to, I don't want to open, I don't ever want to open my first rotten egg. If you put them in water with pickling lime, they can last up to 18 months. Do they still taste the same? <laughs> the thing with like, eating foods that your stomach gets a little bit upset with, half the time is like trying to think to yourself, was it worth it? You know? Because sometimes, like, I'll put up with a tummy ache to eat something I really enjoy. I'm not going to miss out. But I just really like food, so... Some eggs can be a little boy and they're fine. You've had ones that don't fully float. I'll have to experiment with this stuff over time. Lactate. I forget that's a thing. I don't really have that much problem with um, milk things, but I do consume a non-insignificant amount of cheese. It's not like a huge amount of cheese, but like it's definitely some. Fettuccine Alfredo is your favourite food in the universe. I need to remember what's in that because I don't think it's like a... Like most of the time when I make anything with pasta it's just like this pasta in this sauce. It's never... Unless it's something like spaghetti bolognese or lasagna. Most of the time it'll be like... Oh I had pasta. It, it would never be very specific. <laughs> It'd be like meatball pasta or like tuna pasta. Never um, much more specific than that. Let me go check the mines. See if we can make a couple more sprinklers. You're eating chicken alfredo right now? It's not as common in the UK. It made you sad when you lived there. It's a cream sauce with cheese in it. Okay, that sounds really good. Similar. Something on a similar thing. And I suppose it's like a bit different because it's got like the ham in it or ham slash bacon slash whatever in it, but carbonara? Lily, hello, how you doing? Usually in your experience is a roux with milk and parmesan added to it. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. My watch has got really tight. I think I'm getting quite warm. The light's in here. The lights, the monitors, the PC, all of it. Carbonara is about the same, right? So, like that, that would be the um equivalent. Sleepy Chase, hello. We're gonna play Ridgeside and Joy. Okay, I'm out of iron. Wait, where did I leave all my iron up here? What am I doing? I think I'm gonna hang out and smelt this copper to its fullest. Melissa! First one of the year! Welcome! Happy New Year to you! I can't believe we're almost in February. What's going on? Been sick otherwise okay? Well, I hope, you, um, I hope you're feeling at least somewhat better to what you were. KMP Music, hello! Are we talking about food? Also, your first time here. We are indeed talking about food. To be honest, <laughs> we, talk, we end up talking about food in <laughs> some way, shape or form literally every stream. If anyone can tell me a stream that we have not talked about food, I will be impressed. The common USA is fettuccine noodles, chicken and broccoli with the Alfredo sauce. I mean, that does sound delicious. Like, that sounds very delicious. Sounds like I need it in my life. Monster and gaming with the lights off. Your headache, is it? When you say you're having a monster, is it by any chance? 
a caffeine headache. Because <laughs> totally get that struggle. It's not an evolution stream if we aren't talking about food. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. I really need to, at some point in the next like few days, make um my sort of Korean inspired food situation because we ordered um we have a like Japanese and Korean place here and we ordered from there and it just like the first couple of times I had it it was amazing but this time it just like didn't hit like I, I ended up I had half of it for lunch and then I wanted to have the other half for dinner um and I ordered bibimbap uh beef bulgogi bibimbap and I ended up with the other half putting it in a frying pan with a little bit more soy sauce a little bit of gochujang and a little bit of sesame oil and then made another fried egg for it. It just like needed help. It was a bit tasteless. Like it came with the sauce. It was just, <laughs> it was just, eh. and it's like one of literally like my favorite meal ever. So it was kind of disappointing when it didn't turn out well. Now it's looking like I need to side some of this grass because forage spawns pretty frequently around here, and I don't want to miss out on any because it's got grass all over it. Food is a universal language, honestly. I love hearing about food in general because like there's a lot of things that I learn you know right let's make our sprinklers so at this point sprinklers are just going to be a mess because we are near the end of a season so I'm just going to have them water all these spots here is there anyone there no I can't put oh it's because I wasn't close enough Oh, that's not a tree. It's just a piece of grass. It's because it's dark. It's dark. Um. Oh, I do remember that I've got the stack button, but I've, I just need to get there. Cynthia, thank you so much for the 199 super chat. Dr. said to get you tested to see if you're anemic. I hope the test came out okay. That is, um. Sounds, sounds like a huge struggle. I do need torches. I just, like, I don't want to use the sap on them at the moment because I need oh I'm so close to completing the sticky bundle hang on we're gonna complete this um oh it is late though we'll, we'll do it in the morning because I need to recover the energy Victoria hello welcome in hello from Poland well hello to you too from the UK you made white wine poached salmon with potato puree for dinner that sounds very fancy and delicious can't say I'm a fan of wine though just in general You never put broccoli in Alfredo, we should try that. You do mushrooms, olives, bacon, or beef mints. And of course, cheese and cheese sauce. <laughs> hey, why not bacon and beef mints? <laughs> Add the flavour. Oh, it's another bad luck day. Can it not be? Does it have to? Alright. Well, much less watering today. Two more days on the rice. Oh, I still need to fill up the crab pots. I keep forgetting. Oh, well. I'm not in a rush for those, really. Uh, Two more down there. Right, I think that's all the spots. Pets for Chewy. And let's find one more tree. Or some trees to get the last sap. I feel like pasta is the perfect thing for me to like continue trying mushroom like base things because I'm still learning to like them. Gotta go to the ENT specialist sometime this week. Oh, I hope it goes okay. Nutmeg. Oh, yeah, I've heard nutmeg goes really well in like cream type sauces. Acre Homestead. <laughs> Good old Acre Homestead. That's where I learned that. Not that that was the original source of the information, but that's where I learned that. Hey, mushrooms is a texture thing. That is understandable. For me, it was always a taste thing, never a texture thing. 
Hope you have a good rest, Cynthia. It was good to see you. Right. Mm, should I go donate today? No, we'll just go straight to the festival, I think, because it's about to start. And it's going to take me a minute to walk down to the bottom there. Um, Let's bring my pickaxe as well. We'll just see if we can clear a little way through on our way. Wrong cave. That sounds horrendous to deal with. Just like unwanted sounds in general, you know? <gasps> burger! Take a free washed up burger. Someone left me a takeaway on the beach. We did try this really good new burger place yesterday and it was so good. Like the chicken burgers were made with like chicken thighs. So it was like proper, none of that mushed up meat. Like proper like deep fried chicken thigh. Boneless obviously because of burger, but it was so good. And the sauce was something like maple butter buffalo or something. Incredible. Hi Pierre. Um Oh we can't afford the rag row. We'll have to do that next year. Alright, let's chat to everyone. Get the old friendship points. The sound you get when you hold a shell to your ear, that sounds I'm not sure what's why. I suppose both are bad. It's an easy way to get overstimulated, isn't it? <laughs> right, we're asking Shane. Don't really want to ask Shane. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going to get rejected. Oh, is it four hearts? Wait. Or did I lose? No, it's four hearts then, isn't it? I thought it was three. I always thought it was three. Nope, we're not asking you. I'm going to get embarrassed. I just want the friendship points. Damn it. Well, then we are asking no one. We're just going to stand awkwardly in the corner. Well, maybe I shouldn't have even come here. Oh, I suppose I got the friendship points from talking. But I could have made better use of the time by doing other things. But that's okay. A new season will be nice anyway. You generally don't cook fancy food, but when you have visitors over, you usually go full fancy five-star French chef that was born in the kitchen to make sure the dishes are pleasant. Oh, I love that. What's your favourite thing to cook? And that goes for everyone. You've had it for a decade, nearly a decade. That's... You only get bothered by it if you're really stressed out or behind on sleep. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's a lot, you, you know... Tolerance for a lot of things goes down with lack of sleep. Oh, I love a good egg sandwich. Like fried egg or do you make your eggs differently? Oh, I still got a couple of breakfast wraps in the freezer. I'm excited about those at some point. Right, survival burger. I'm probably just going to sell it. It's a bit of extra gold. Oh, when we were talking about the better chests and auto stashing or whatever, um, I found out that because I've got convenient inventory installed, it actually disables it because it would come up in the smappy log when I was loading it. Lightning rod. Okay, that's good. Just in time for summer. I have, however, used up all my iron. Chicken pot pie soup. Ooh, it sounds so good. Is it basically just like the filling? You like making pasta? Beef foot? Oh my god, yes. Fried is better on a sandwich than scrambled. Makes sense. I suppose you could also make like an omelette sandwich. Eggs on toast. Bonus if you use duck eggs. I've never had duck eggs. Ooh, garlic and chilli creamy prawn pasta. Yes. Yes. Massive yes. There's so many things I want to make, I just haven't had the energy. We've been having a lot of, like, really simple food. Which is, like, not a bad thing, but I just, like, miss cooking stuff. Strawberries! I think these ones I'm actually going to sell. Other than the gold ones. Hey! Level 6 farming! What a relief. 
Wait, that means we get quality sprinklers already, doesn't it? Though I'm not in any kind of territory for better ones. And usually I would like to keep the strawberries for processing, but I need the money more desperately than that. So um, how, how long are these going to take? They're not going to be ready in time, so there's not even any point in me watering them. The green beans I'll do. I can save some energy. Wait. Why can't I take stuff out? Wait, what? Oh, it's got tabs. How do I turn the filters off? Oh. Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. And that's the thing that I didn't see. Slash realize. Alright, well, in that case, let's work smarter, not harder. These aren't, these aren't even useful anymore, so I'm going to make sure the green bean gets watered. Just kidding, I can't. Actually, I could just destroy... Like that. Although I might as well then start doing my actual layout. So, let's pick all these out and start again. So I'm going to use that one as a start point. So this one actually belonged there. Um, pick that up. Then... Here. However, I need those to be watered, so that's going to stay there for now. So then next one's here and that's going to do for now better at baking hey i mean that counts that counts All right it's a bad luck day i don't really want to go mining on a bad luck day so we'll go potentially fishing but mostly foraging And yeah, some of it is just down to practice, isn't it? Be very careful not to oversalt soups. Oh no. I used to be um bad with the like. I went through a phase, and some of you may have also been through a similar phase of like, all salt is bad, do not ever use salt. Um, I've learned from that. And food is better. <laughs> oh no, you don't mean the mash they can have and it all disappeared. I've definitely been there with the mash just kind of integrating. But I definitely want to get back into cooking some more fun stuff in general. Yellow! What feather are you? You are a golden feather. That's a legendary feather. I'm going to keep that for something. Wait. I will have one on this. Auric powder. I need to craft a special scarecrow. Oh my gosh, look at this wine. I'm going to need a few of these then. Also, I saw golden fabric. That's something. Right, forage hunt time. Hovering myself around trees as well, because sometimes the little plus icon I hide in mine there. Turned into a slop with uh, cheese crisp. <laughs> I mean, that still sounds delicious. <laughs> That's the, the, the importance of tasting with the soul, isn't it? You never got the spoons to make one. You should try again. I used to have like Especially when I was at uni, I had a friend that taught me this, how to make like um, a bolognese because she was part Italian. So her nan um, obviously taught her how to make it and it was really freaking good. And since then that like 
particular recipe has lived with me because we used to make it together all the time. It was just so good. Incredible. Like, to the point of, like, I also used to eat it without the pasta, so I'd just make essentially a huge vat of mince, freeze a load of it, because it's cheaper that way too, and um, I could pack a load of veggies into it as well, which was nice. Mastered roast potatoes, that's something. I've never got the patience for that because I get scared of, like, I haven't quite got the hang of, um, having to put stuff in an oven with a load of oil. So I get worried about smoking. I, th I guess I picked the wrong oil. But that's a level of, like, studying my brain isn't up for. A lot of the spoons of cooking is learning the recipe, yeah. The amount of times I've, like, shopped for a recipe and ended up, like, forgetting something. And, like, something important as well. Or, like, by the time I go to make it, one of the ingredients is, like, expired. <laughs> it's just, like, when I went to make... Oh, I need to make those again. Some time back I made some mochi pancakes. So, the pan these are pancakes, but a lot of the flour is actually substituted for rice flour. And my milk went off, so I had to not... Oh, bubble spot. I had to not, um use that and I substituted it for water and when I was doing the recipe I made it and the amount that it told me to put in it basically was the consistency of like when you make preps which is way too runny for like pancake pancakes um so I managed to luckily recognize that and add more flour it was so good but I like things chewy so mochi pancake I would take mochi pancakes over regular pancakes every day and plus like these ones you tend to sweeten as well, so I I can actually eat them without anything on them. So delicious. Okay, we're going to save some spots for fun forage. Because that is what we came out for. I can fish any day of the week. <laughs> Learning to recognise the texture is a huge step. <laughs> it's funny because like I really wanted to make a huge batch of pancakes and um, I watched... <laughs> more YouTube videos than I would like to admit on the consistency of pancakes and like learning not to over mix them and stuff. Messed up jacket potato skin that was so tough you could barely eat it. Oh no. I've definitely been in that situation but I'm also too lazy when it comes to things like jacket potatoes. I tend to um I tend to just do potatoes in the microwave. <laughs> Because, like, for me, I'm, I, I don't care about the skin. It's the filling. And not just, like, necessarily... Ah, oh, the bubble spot's gone. Um, not just, like, the potato filling, but, like, the things you put on it. So, like, if I want to go simple, I'll just do butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. So good. Putting together your own salads. I do like me a salad. I really want to get, um, like, a, a chop box thing. I know some people have said that, like, they kind of dull in time, but I need to make things easier for me. But also, like, th doing things like meal preps as well is, like, when I have the spoons to cook, cooking a bigger batch of something doesn't take... Like, it's usually minimal effort. I can't help you with the gold bar. It's usually minimal effort to cook more of the same thing you're already cooking if you've got like the space for it and like just like leave it for later. So that's what I tend to prefer doing. What do I like in my salad? Um, my favourite salad is um, lettuce, cucumber, spring, uh, preferably spring onion, but I, I like regular onion too. Um, avocado. And then what else do I put in it? I'm trying to think. Peppers, uh, sweet corn, and the dressing I like to use is uh, soy sauce, rice vinegar, sesame oil, honey, a little bit of chili paste, or like gochujang or something. And then protein wise, it kind of depends. So sometimes I'll have egg, or 
I don't know, it just depends what I've got. For that. When I say lettuce as well, I don't just mean lettuce, I mean like leaves of some description. So it could be lettuce, it could be um, spinach, it could be like just a bag that has like various stuff in it. The only thing I don't like when it comes to like salad bags is the red leaves, I find them too bitter for me. I do really like rocket though. Or arugula. Depending on <laughs> what you happen to call it. This is a good little foraging day. Look at all the stuff we got. Have I ever tried apple bits on my salad? No, I haven't. Oh, and my other my second favourite dressing is um olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and honey. And a bit of garlic. Because duh. Duh on the garlic front. <laughs> Clam seashell is so cute. Could have sworn I... Okay, there we go. It just didn't... I think I wasn't close enough. No, I don't mean to organise. Alright. Right, let's have another look at community centre things. So, mushroom. I need one more clover. Worried if I'm going to get that in time. Herbal. Anything else in here? Oh yeah, the, the flowering. I need these feathers. Feathery one. Oh, that one as well. Dandelion puffball. Can I see anything here? No. Okay, cool. So foraging is very important. We have learned. Look at all these donations. I really should take these. Um, let's just do that. Because even if I'm not going to finish any bundles, I still need to like <laughs> just chill on the amount of stuff that I've got. Oh, we can actually complete the sticky bundle. There's just so there's too much stuff in here. Um, I think I need five. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that I can't take. That I can't take. We're all good. Ooh, Marmite peanuts. I need to try those. I really like Marmite. You want to try the apple bit? Yeah, put that in your salad next time. Give it a go. I don't know if it- would it go with tuna though? Speaking of tuna, oh, I haven't made that in so long. I need to get some avocados because I used to, um, I recently started making like, I say recently, it was months ago now, but sourdough toast with avocado, egg and tuna with um, everything bagel seasoning on top and also sriracha and maybe a bit of honey. <laughs> so good. There's a lot of things to put in on a toast, but it, it, it tastes good and worth. It's so worth. Apple and tuna go great together. I mean, hey, who makes the rules, right? Like, if you like them together, that's the important thing. I don't know why I asked that, because I actually hate when people ask that. <laughs> that's one of my, like, pet peeves. Is where people are like, oh no, that doesn't go. And it's like, maybe for you it doesn't, but like, don't not try it. Because a lot of people would say fruit and cheese doesn't necessarily go, and it totally does. It's just like an example. Marmite Easter egg. I kind of want to try that though. I, I am intrigued. Because I do really like Marmite. Right, where's that sticky bundle? There it is. There we go. What do we get for it? Because I can't remember. Tree fertilizer. That's actually kind of useful. Um, none of these are forage. I don't, oh wait. No, it's dye bundle, isn't it? Flavor is subjective after all. No, exactly. Exactly. Your mum loves fruit and cheese and you can't uh, abide it. You'll eat some cheese and then some fruit, but you keep them separate. See, I would go as far as to put cheese and jam on toast. And if you like cheese and fruit, I highly recommend.
Favourite combo is either Gouda or Cheddar with Strawberry Jam. Um, field Research, there we go. And then the Dye Bundle, which is blue. And then... Speciality Fish. This is giving me a headache. <laughs> And the rest is in the other one. Brie with apricot jam. I find brie too too much. Gouda is so good. It's my favourite. That's the cheese that Michael will introduce me to. And I probably wouldn't... Uh, I probably would have tried it at some point in my life, but like... I don't know when. There we go. We're closed with a lot of bundles now. Fig jam. Never had fig jam. Toast with cream cheese and jam. Yeah, that's good. See, that's one of those combos that I've had people say to me, like, why are you doing that? But it's like, okay, but cheesecake. <laughs> you know? You like cheese and peanut butter on toast? Oh, I need to try that. I like, uh, I'd like to try that. If you like Marmite, Marmite peanut butter is very good. Or at least I like it, but then I prefer... There is a Marmite peanut butter that exists, but I prefer picking my own peanut butter for this purpose. Because like some of them are not good. And like the one they tend to use, I mean it's okay. But like at least when you do it yourself, you control how much Marmite to peanut butter ratio there is, you know. Young cheese is fine, but when a cheese is old and crumbly and has the hard bits... Oh, see, I'm not a fan of the hard bits. Like, the thing that puts me off, like, an extra mature cheddar is, like, the gritty bits in it. It's just not my thing. Peanut butter and banana toast? Yes. Grilled camembert with fig jam. I've never done that myself. I've had, um, like, a baked camembert in a restaurant. That was it. A local farmer back home made a lemon fig jam. That was delicious. That sounds so fancy and amazing. Right, now the difficulty is I really want to go and buy a bundle at the vault. No, I need to save my money for backpack and summer seeds because we are only two days away from summer now. We'll probably end the stream on a on the first day of summer. So we can start next week with a new season. It's Pierre's birthday. What have I got for him? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, golden feather, lucky clothes. You can have none of those things. You are not worth any of them. Dandelion and green bean. Okay, you can have a dandelion. Because I've got a gold one to them. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Yes, I do. Actually, you know what? I could probably make enough seeds to... First of all, put that away. I'm trying to see if I can make enough. I need five more. There we go. I want to sell some seeds specifically to... No, I haven't got enough really. I want to get the backpack, like urgently, basically, is what I was trying to get at without actually getting the words out. However... I actually could do it. But then seeds. This is difficult. Maybe I'll also... I mean, I've got a lot of trees. This is a lot of tree seeds. I'm going to sell, like, most of a lot of them. Because I'm going to get more. I can sell them direct to Pierre as well. But first, I do need to check the travelling car, because that's very important. Banana and brown sugar toast. I never thought of putting something sweet in a- Why have I not done that before? We have a toasty maker and we put like ham and cheese and stuff in there, but I've never thought of like putting something sweet in it. Feta cheese, tomato and leek on toast. See, the issue there is I don't like two of those three things. <laughs> Where am I going? Okay, well I guess I'm going in the fruit cave now. You got a pack of one, two and three aged- a three year aged Gouda. Oh, that's cool that you've got like each of them.
What's a toasty? Um, literally a toasted sandwich, but like when you put it in a toasty maker, it seals the edges so that like it's like closed in like a pocket of stuff inside bread. <laughs> so think like if you were just doing a cheese toasty, think grilled cheese, but the edges are sealed. And it's got like a cut down the middle. I did growing up used to have a toasty maker that didn't have the little cut across the middle and it allowed you to put more filling in. Have never been able to find it since. Um, in like electric form. New fruit! New fruit for bundle, we can complete that now, let's go do it. Apples, butter, cinnamon and a little sugar tossed in the oven until all sort of soft. Ooh! Never thought of putting in the- I wonder if that would work in the air fryer actually. Because like, our oven's very slow. Hello, hello, welcome in! You think you have one of those? Oh, it's so worth, it's so worth. Oh, I need to start putting like, sweet stuff in it. Oh no. You're gonna start a thing for me now, aren't you? Right, so let me check that bundle real quick. Because I think, yeah, it's the last item. I think that will get us our first keg. Very important. Very, very important. Can't see why it wouldn't work in the air, right? I mean, it's basically just like a small oven, right? You found people selling chocolate cheddar and blueberry cheddar, you were just like, why? I would try that. Genuinely. But blueberry cheddar makes sense because there's cheese with like cranberry and pineapple and stuff in it. See, I need a lot of this stuff because I think I need this for, yeah, the animal bundle. Animal bundle, oh no. There's loads of things here today. Should I just wait for the animal stuff though? Oh no, uh... Hmm. I'm debating with myself. What do we think? Buy the eggs or not buy the eggs? That white bell pepper looks like a present. Oh, it just looks like a little gift box, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. I can always get the gold back. Yeah, because it's probably going to be a while until I can actually get the coop. No, not the eggs, you can get them easily enough. Mm, you're right. Safe for summer. Strongly debated. Let's go to Pierre's. Is it a bad luck day again? We're getting so many bad luck days in a row, it's rude. Very rude. Has England heard of other cheeses than cheddar? Audi's probably not the best place to judge that, I will say. You need like a mainstream supermarket. Well, Audi's a mainstream supermarket. You need a like not Audi or Lidl supermarket. There's definitely more cheeses in um, like Tesco and stuff. Right, let's do the gift first. Happy birthday. Enjoy. And then we want to sell those. See, now I've got enough for backpack and seeds. Plus, I'll be shipping more stuff over the next couple of days. Let's go take the apricot. Maybe I can fish. Debating, but really don't want to. Oh, I've got this for the full foraging bundle. Right. It's done. Uh, it's just like whatever was close, yeah. Oh, oil maker. Oh, I was hoping it was a keg. That's so sad. He wants that deep fried pheasant. I think I've... I've definitely seen that in blazers, but I haven't like personally had it.
your local Aldi right next door in the US is quite lacking on selection. I will say I prefer Lidl to Aldi. Generally. Like, Lidl's bakery section is, like, on point. And plus, like, the food in general, I tend to find at Lidl is better. I suppose I can make some sort of oils with this, right? So here, if I F1 on it, look at all the different oils we can make now. That's a lot of different oils. We're going to be here for a while. It's a little ways away and you don't have a car. I do wish that Little did, like, proper home delivery. Right, for now, this machine's going to go... I need a better place for it. And then, yeah, I guess we'll fish. Got more bait there. And let's get going. All right, where do I want to fish? I guess one of the best places for money is actually up by the um, mines, right? So we'll go over there. The local Lidl sells cream buns and just for that it'll always be your favourite store. They just have such good bakery stuff. Aldi used to have a bakery but they stopped a few years ago. Oh, did they? I feel like I've never seen a bakery in an Aldi. Not at the like, same level as Lidl. Like maybe they might have some just like bread. <gasps> last flower for- last clover for the bundle. That's the win. Oh. Gonna make sure I pick up any forage I happen to pass, because tomorrow we're gonna forage even more. It's so important in this one. Alright, let's do this. Going to Lidl's on a budget is dangerous with the bakery. You can't say no to the donuts. <laughs> you had to come out with like the donuts you weren't expecting to buy and maybe also an iron and a chainsaw. And you, might, you just realise in the many hours you put into Rapid Action, you never once tried to look up anything on the oil maker. But you can do it on the machines. Would that then do the substitute for like the um, CJB item spawner thing? Like maybe that would solve that what foraging mods do i use um all of the mods that are producing things like forageables and crops and everything this entire playthrough is essentially based on the rapidax mod so any new items come from there I feel like where we are at the moment as well, Lidl is definitely way more prevalent than Aldi. Like, there aren't not Aldis, but there's definitely a lot more Lidls. I will say Tesco will forever be my main... main place, though. Especially the cereal bars. Do I have one? No, I think I ate it. I, have, I keep some like emergency snacks in here for that like low blood sugar feeling um, that I get. I'm trying to see what I have left. Oh, some of it isn't mine. I'm wanting to bet Michael's completely forgotten that these are in here. <laughs> but let me, um, wait. I'm checking the like snack shelf. There's some things I need to throw out in here, actually. Okay, I've only got two things in here. One of them is mine and one of them isn't. But I've got like a little milky bar. Small bar. I need to top up my snack section and then... Um, I don't know if Michael's still hearing this. But he's left these, the gold munchies in here and these are incredible. I highly recommend. But, but we have like an emergency snack shelf. Oh, Metal, hello, how you doing? And Dragon Scale, also hello, welcome in.
Did you forget? <laughs> I don't know how long they've been there because I thought that they were my um, aero gold buttons. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, that's the wrong shape. I see like cubes on the packaging, not round. Full Metal, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Antiquated Misfit, welcome back to the Berry Basket. Enjoy your Crobus emotes, your early access to videos, and um, check out the poll on the community tab as well. Thank you so much, Full Metal. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Tesco meal deals, yes. I do love me a Tesco meal deal. Had a long week, just wanted to say hello. Well, I hope your weekend ends up being better. And also, I hope your week is like, I hope your weekend's on a Friday. I bet you're, you've really got that Friday feeling now, huh? I also realised, like, living at, um, hey, level up. I also realised after we lived in the caravan that I don't think I could ever do a small village situation again, because I like having choice when it comes to shopping for stuff and where we were. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Tesco. But we only had a Tesco and it was like not that close. I mean, it was close, but not like convenient. It was very difficult to like drive to get to it because of the types of roads that were there. You know, small like countryside village situation it was not my favorite. And I like the choice to be able to go other places every now and again, you know? Also lacking in takeaway options. <laughs> like to get something good, we used to have to drive like 40 minutes. <laughs> Kanga, oh my God, what a name, I love that. Your niece named her, oh. Is it like Kanga, like from Winnie the Pooh? Wait, Kanga and Rue. I'm not imagining. I've just realised. Have I? Have I misremembered? That is a thing, isn't it? Oh, does it not show everything? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Your small village town living is difficult sometimes. They closed the main road for two months. You're having trouble. You're having to drive through flooded back roads for an hour to get to a main road. That's, yeah, no. It shows everything, but that's part of the problem. Oh, I kind of wanted to do that though. You have Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's and a Burger King nearby for any late night snacks. What do we have here? We have... Well, we I know we'll never get a Chick-fil-A anymore. There was one that opened in the country, but um, it was very controversial here and it got shut down. We have quite, we've got quite a lot of choice here. I'm very excited for when Wendy's becomes mainstream here because <clears throat> Wendy's have said that that is the plan for them, is to become like as common as like McDonald's, Burger King, KFC and all that. Taco Bell has exploded here and Popeyes is also becoming very much a thing. Um, Wendy's I'm very much looking forward to. Also Tim Hortons have come up everywhere too. Oh, it's like finding the one you need. Right, got it. <laughs> Not to the shell, yay. Well, Metal, it's good to see you. Thank you again for the gift and membership, and I hope you have a good uh, weekend. See, I like where we are, because it's a city, but it's not too big. And we have a lot of, like, choice of stuff around us to go to. It's just funny, because, like, since living here, we've talked to, obviously, quite a few people. Um, especially when I started... Like, for, for a while, obviously, I worked in retail uh, the year before last, before becoming full-time in this. Um, and when I got those jobs, people were literally like, 
why did you move here? Because, like, we don't have any links to this area. We just liked the sound of living in this city. No, I'm going to say where it is. Um, like the sound of living in this city. And people were like, why? There's nothing here. And I was like, are you kidding me? You have everything you need. The only thing they don't have here is, like... Um, this isn't a city that has Uber. But, like, taxis and stuff. If you need taxis and the public transport is decent. They've got everything else they need. That, like... There's not much here that isn't... Any, like, there's not much that's not here that's somewhere else. Wild. But I guess, like, maybe that's just people that haven't left this place their entire life so i kind of get it but like you don't say that like if you you know you go to other cities and you'll find they're all the same <laughs> you grew up in a small town so if you've got to go anywhere other than the local stores you're driving 25 to 30 minutes if you want to target you're going for an hour an hour but then again in the us like driving is viewed very differently to here like an hour for us is like oh my god that is so ridiculously long but like the amount of times I hear people be like, oh, it's only a six hour drive. I'm like, six hour drive, you can travel like half the country in that time here. Well, I was also big. Never heard of them. My favorite thing in Florida was checkers. I will say. Right, I'll keep the silver one. Right, let's figure out what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to sell. I think most of... Other than the largemouth bass. Oh, I need to give Jodie the cauliflower at some point. Do I even have one to give her? I don't know. I'll find out, I guess. We'll have a loot. <laughs> you live in Texas and it takes at least eight hours to escape. I mean, Lee. <laughs> I really want to go at some point. Oh, I've not shipped a cauliflower. Well, Jody can have this one. That's fine. I have donated one already, so I don't need it again. Or anything like that. I'm just going to sell this one piece of clay because I can't be bothered to put it away. Sleep time. All right, two more days. Let's do this. Recycling machine. That's actually going to become kind of important. You've been abroad once. Uh, your other holidays have been in the UK. See, there's a lot of good places in this country to visit. Shop yeah, I suppose shopping is very different, isn't it? For me, an hour and a half drive was wild to have to do every other weekend. Hey, extra 500 gold. Emily's birthday, very, very easy. We'll just grab... Oh, I haven't got multiple of anything, so she'll just have to have a topaz. Uh, Don't need to water anything, we're all good there. And we must forage today, so I'll leave the fishing rod behind. Foraging is an absolute must. You love Texas when you visited for a night. You can't take the cold, so it was perfect for you. I would take uh, cold over hot weather any day. Your small town is not small to some. Yeah, it's all relative, really, isn't it? Thing is, I used to say that... It's funny that I just said that me going every other weekend driving to my hometown was wild and then I just remembered that the office I used to work in in my banking job was an hour and a half each way every morning and evening. That was a little bit more ridiculous. Which again, speaking on the part that like a lot of this is actually relative is um, when I used to, when I used to talk to people that I grew up with 
they used to be like, oh, that's not bad of a commute. But then when I go to the office and speak to the people there, they're like, why do you live so far away? <laughs> so it just depends who you speak to a lot of the time. But like for me, I was like, I'd much rather because of the discount I used to get on the trains um, at that time. It made more sense to live further out and pay um, uh, pay less rent. Sebastian wants a parsnip. I can probably help with that. <gasps> no way do we just get a diamond. <laughs> okay, well, that's going into the community center. I'll take a trash diamond. Who's throwing out a diamond? Gus, what are you doing? Maybe someone was going to give Gus a diamond as a gift and just like... Did not go to plan. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in. Um... I was just debating you skipping the cutscene, but I shouldn't. I always clean under the cushions. It's your turn this week. So whiny, Haley. You ain't childish, Haley. I do the vast majority of the work in this house, and you know it. Haley's just like hanging out by the fountain, going out to take photographs. Meanwhile, Emily doing all the housework and then going to work at the saloon. Oh, is that new far uh, new girl from the farm? She has a name, you know. Yeah. Please call me by name. Hey, I bet you'll understand my point of view here. I'm really sorry to involve you in this. Haley is complaining because I asked her to clean under the cushion. It's only because I cleaned them last week. Why not have this be your one weekly job? I always go with the same answer every single time. Honestly, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't find it as a weekly job. <laughs> But then we also cover our couch in a blanket, so train commute is better than driving. <laughs> yeah, this is true because I used to sleep on the train, and it wasn't. But though it wasn't an hour and a half train, it was only um, it was a very broken up journey. So it was like a ten to fifteen minute walk, a forty minute train, or sometimes I I'd go for the train that takes an hour, so I could sleep longer. I'd sleep on the train, um, and then I get off the train, have to then walk to the tube, then get on the tube. Um, that, that was only five minutes and then get off there and then walk 15 to 20 minutes. All right, you win. I guess this can be my job every week. Then there won't be any reason to argue over it. Exactly. Thanks, Emma. That was a great solution. What would you do without me? Right, I can't... I don't think I'm at a place where I can get into Emily's room, so... I'll have to go for the saloon later. Right, let's go <clears throat> drop off the cauliflower to Jody, and then I'm gonna go to the community center with a diamond. Is Jody here? Yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. Bit more gold for the new season. You only clean it when you lose something. Just a quick hoover every now and again, you know. I get why people write Haley off, especially after this cutscene. If you pay attention while building friendships, she has some of the best character development in the game. Her later cutscenes are really good, but like... I go on the basis that... If it was real life... Like, if you're just living in a town with someone and you don't necessarily have to talk to... Everyone that's there, why would I... Choose to spend my social battery on someone that's being mean to me? That is just a recipe for permanent masking, and I'm not about that life. Diamond! So I now only need an aquamarine or a ruby. Right, I think we'll go and see her as an Emily after. Uh, after I forage, so like the evening, maybe. Because I really do want to check out the forest today. You'll defend it for life because of the... 
I see, I get that. I get that like her character development's really good, but like I, I would struggle to keep being nice to someone who's outright rude. Um, the only difference is when people tell me someone's rude versus like me actually experience them being rude because like I've, the amount of times I've gone to, especially in jobs, people saying like, oh, watch out for this person. <laughs> Yay, dandelion puff, we need that. Uh, you know, watch out for this person, they're not very nice. And I'm thinking like, I'm, I'm going to decide that for myself and nine times out of ten, they're not that bad. Like if you just don't judge them before you actually meet them. Like, if you already go in with that mindset, you come across that way and it just doesn't help. In a good book, yeah, not really in real life. Yeah, exactly. But yes, I would run so far away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, you're not feeling... And maybe some people are, but like, I'm not feeling the direct effects because I know they're talking to my pixel character on a computer screen. If it's real life, I'll be like, mm. how to trigger my social anxiety. Because <laughs> I do struggle. I do struggle with that stuff. I was hoping a bit more would have spawned, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, that's the thing. Oh, there's one. Ooh, crab apple. That's new. Are you for the community center? Yes. Yes, you are. That's why I tend to like try and hover myself behind bushes. Thought I saw one there. To see if there are any bits of forage hiding out behind anything. Did I just see a plus? No. Sometimes I mistake it, but worth checking. If you saw Shane in real if I saw Shane in real life, if he told me to leave me alone, I would. Cause that's like I've I've said this before as well. I know that some people don't always like <sighs> some people need being nice to you before they like let the wall down or whatever, but like I take what a lot of people say literally, so for me if someone tells me to leave them alone, they're setting a boundary and I should respect that. You'd be scared to be in the vicinity of Shane, you know, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to cope. Going to the beach. <gasps> Emily! Happy birthday. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much for this beautiful gem. I really appreciate this. Well, um, enjoy it. Now you get to take it to work with you. On your birthday, working on your birthday, that's rough. Even though I know it's a very normal thing, but, you know. I love when I see things that I haven't had before. I mean, I have had before, because it means I can actually ship one. I wouldn't be friends with Alex either. Very much agree. Some people, like, I struggle, obviously, to understand, like, what people are say saying or, like, trying to say, even if they are trying to do it, especially if they're trying to do it subtly. Your people, please, no matter, uh, despite how they treat you. Yeah, I get that. I definitely get that. I am, um, I'm definitely a recovering people pleaser. Like, I wouldn't necessarily be horrible to any of those people or anything. I'd just, like, kind of lightly avoid them unless they came to me with interaction, if that makes sense. And then I'd be really nice. I wouldn't, like, not be nice. You couldn't even fix Shane studying to become a therapist. Yeah, I just... I have married Shane. Eh. 
I mean, it's cute having another chicken coop, even though it's not like real on the farm. That's cute, but like. <sighs> eh. That stream is yikes. Very, very yikes. Maybe I should have brought my fishing rod. Have I been up here today? I think I have, haven't I? I haven't checked over here though. Aha. Uh -huh. Leak hiding from me. And that's it for forage, I think. You know, hold yourself up in your room and not be bothered by anyone. Totally get that. He backslides hard. Future therapist gang. Oh, I love this for you both. Something I could never do. But obviously it's one of those things that there are always more of them that are needed. Right, dumped all that. Oh, little morel hiding out back here. Okay. Anything for shipping? Right, this... Please. This I'm going to put in the chest over there because I need it. Anything here? No. I can sell some of this coral. Sell one of them. One of these kelps can go. Spare oyster. I'm trying to just like make up money basically for um seeds so all of you not that shame that we're not going to get enough of these by the end of the season i hope they can i see from here if they spawn in multiple seasons i don't think i can i do wish that look up anything did tell me that like, that's the one thing I feel like it's missing, is like, where things spawn. But oh well. Oh, it was a good luck day, I probably should have mined. Oh well. That's okay. That's for another day. More the merrier. Hey, another 800 and something gold. Nearly 900. Hey, loads of student therapists. Queen of Source. Right, this is my last day. Then we can start next time with a new season. I like being able to do that. Layla, hello, how you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Demetrius. I am going to ask for the mushroom cave because we've already got the fruit cave in the, um, the big cave. So we might as well just get the mushrooms and now we've got both already. Started with the side therapy. <laughs> Salad recipe. Right, what do I want to use? I guess I will use the forage seeds in place here because um, I want to hold the sprinkler spots. See if I can reasonably make any more. Yeah. And then okay so it would have been this one i think yeah you're gonna go here oh i don't like this one being here though so i'm gonna move it because i kind of want like a path area up here like even a two wide maybe i make it three And then 
you also don't belong, I don't think. So it would be... Oh no, these are all wrong. I messed up! Are we surprised? Like this. And then that one there. So now we can get all these spots ready for next season. And I'm going to pickaxe the ones that I haven't got. So that'll be this one. Uh, probably going to need more seeds than I've got on me, actually. Which is quite nice. And today I'm probably going to have to work on getting... I'm not going to use this one. This is going to be part for par. Work on getting more stuff for sprinklers. I'm low on seeds. I only need like two though. Um. Oh, I sold them more. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll use mixed. Awesome. Okay, let's go and check the traveling cart. You see it adds for a therapy group that plays video games while doing group work. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. Procrastinating your dissertation. <laughs> I hope it's going well. Honestly, good luck with it. I know that they're a huge undertaking. D&D can be daunting at first. Yeah, I think it's like the social part of it that I struggle with. The idea of. Um, I don't think I need any of these immediately, really. Because like this I'm going to get next season anyway. And this. I can wait. Battery is kind of important. But then I can get lightning rods next season anyway. So I'll do that. All right, it's also the last day to forage for spring stuff, so let's just do a quick lap of Cindersap. Might be our last chance to get some of these things that, you know, who knows? I might be able to complete a bundle that I didn't think I could. I mean, there's no way I'm going to finish these in year one anyway, just with the sheer amount that we have to do and stuff that we've not even found yet, but yeah. I feel weird because I enjoyed my dissertation. <laughs> but um, honestly, yeah, best of luck to everyone doing when it's... So it is It is a lot of work. It's so much work. I just... Um, I think I lucked out on a topic that I really enjoyed. And my dissertation supervisor was just as interested in it as I was. So... Um, like that, I think that made all the difference. You want me to try something? I hope it's not spoilery. I can't even remember the exact thing of what it was. <laughs> Which is really bad considering like... I had fun with it, but... <laughs> yeah, I just remembered like... The only, the only worst part of my dissertation was I was working in a coffee shop and also almost got my phone stolen. Which had nothing to do with the actual doing my dissertation, but... You want me to know how useful the item spawner is? I haven't got it installed at the moment. And I'm probably not going to install it for like a while so if I need it for whatever needs to be demonstrated I will not be able to do it today you 
You have no idea what you do a dissertation on, so you're sticking to your masters for now. Oh, see, for us, our dissertation was for an undergrad. Um, but they were very clear on that, like, so the the word limit was ten thousand, but that was a limit, not like you must write ten thousand words. So I got a really good grade, even though I I needed six thousand, but it, I said everything I needed to say. And they even said, like, my, my most common comment on the thing is how some things probably could have been a bit more concise. So I could have done it in less. But it was just, like, funny at, at like, sixth form, which is, like, the college before uni. Um, they taught us, like, if you get given a word limit, obviously go as close to the word limit as possible. Um, you know, don't go under, don't go, don't go over, just, like, stay, stay near. And then when I went to do my dissertation... My supervisor was like, you know, that's a hard limit, right? That doesn't mean, um, it doesn't mean you have to write that many words. Because obviously he looked over it like a lot of times before I submitted it. You all have some really cool topics. There's things that I'd like be fascinated to read about, but I just don't have the expertise. Like as much as this is cute, I've not been down here. Um, as much as like I really don't like reading, there are some things that I like will read. Like I find um I will find a way through without going to get my axe. This is cute. There's a fountain. Does this do anything? I mean it doesn't have a hand, I think it's just decorative. When I say a hand, I mean like one to say that like you can do something with this. Anything indicating anything here? No. This is cute though. <laughs> Did you accidentally move to a Marvel group chat as everyone trying to save the world? Honestly, some really cool stuff going on. I haven't been to this side of the farm like at all. Like, where even am I? <laughs> the size of this place is just ridiculous. Oh, that this comes out here and I can't even use the shortcut yet. There's just a lot going on here. I'm struggling. All right. Made it across. Got there eventually. Slowly getting that I really need parts at some point. Mind you, I'm not really just I'm not using this part of the farm like at all at the moment, so it's not that important that I can get through here just yet. I was just kind of doing a bit of exploring for this last day of the season because I kind of want to see where everything goes on the farm, you know? What's over here? Where does this bridge go? Is this just another... I think it's just another section. Okay. Go back. I'm just getting stuck on everything. Is it good? I, I've heard good things about it, but obviously I've not not tried it. Wait, was there a way across this way? I don't think there is. There, no. Wait, there's there a bridge up there? Oh my god. I'm gonna get stuck. Oh, mining level. Okay, well. That's a win. No, I can't go through this way. This this map is ridiculously large, and um obviously eventually we are gonna utilize all the space. Which is wild to think about. Like as in we're gonna need all the space. 
There we go, we made it eventually. Good grief. Right, anything in here for bundles? Um... I mean, other than the stone for the construction bundle, no. Basically. Get everything organized again. Uh, there's one piece of copper I really need to bring over to the mines at some point. And let's get some sleep. And that is going to be us for the day because we're going into a new season. So if you enjoyed yourself today, please do hit the like button. It does help us out a lot. A very good little... Uh, way to support the channel and i very much appreciate all of you hanging out hey glowstone ring oh my god i need that like as soon as possible emily hello i'm so sorry i happen to be ending <laughs> the timing right pause there and um yeah i i don't know what to say i had so much fun today and i'm also really hungry i think that's when my brain just like absolutely fizzled out Thank you all for hanging out and um, I'll see you all next week for Monday for Terraria again. I'm having so much fun playing Terraria. I can't wait. Going to be doing a first boss fight next week and this will be back on Wednesday this time because obviously this was a different day. Um, mega movie out tomorrow so I hope you all enjoy that and I'll see you next time. Bye!